to the recording. Actually, I explained it already, di ba? For you to, so that you can watch it again, no? And then, yung mga PowerPoint, hindi, hindi ako nagbibigay talaga ng PowerPoint. In this, ano lang, topic. Kasi, this topic, masyado siyang marami. So, hindi ko kaya, hindi siya pwedeng itutalye. Hindi, hindi kakayanin ng ano natin ng, ng oras, ng ano. Kaya, I provide you uh, parang copy with this one, no? Na mas detalye siya, okay? So, our ano, no, discussion is recorded. So, to continue, as I mentioned a while ago, uh, module 2, it's about Osiris and life history, no? So, to begin with, let us start our discussion with some uh, questions, no? We're in, the question goes like this, no? Yung nga, no? Ano kaya ang itatanong mo kay Osiris Al kapag nakasalubong mo siya sa mall? So, everyone in this class are, ano, no, uh, are free to express their thoughts or their ideas na kung ano gusto nyo nang itanong kay Rizal, kung makakasalubong nyo sa Samoy. Anyone? You can unmute yourself and listen, say something. Yes, sige, unahan, uh, unahan na natin si ano, Wendell. Wendell, yes. Ano kaya ang gusto mong itanong kay Rizal? Wendell? Hey. Ano po, sir? Uh, ano po, ano yung una niya pong pinag-aralan? Ano yung nakuha niya, yung una niya pong pinag-aralan sa, saan ka siya yung nag-aaral? Ati na yun ba? Okay, yes, yung course niya, no? Okay, very good. Oh. That, that's interesting, no? Nga, no, hindi naman. Oh, okay, so siguro in our discussion, masasagot natin yun. Thank you very much for that, Wendell. Okay, so you can type your name at the chat box and then it's last 10 points, no? Thank you. <clears throat> okay, anyone in the class? Sino pang ano, ano pang idea na gusto itanong or something na nag-aano nag, sa isipan ninyo na interested kayo about, about Rizal, no? Anyone? Yes. Anyone in the class? So, Jessica, ikaw na. Sige. Ang loud, Jessica. Sir, yes. Um, kung tatanong ko po kay Rizal, if, if hindi po siya naging ophthalmologist, ano po siya ngayon? Ah, okay. Thank you. Kung hindi siya naging ophthalmologist, as its course, ano siya kaya, no? O ano kaya yung natapos niya, no? Thank you for that. Okay, Rachel, Samson, next. Don't forget to type your ano ha, sa chat box. Um, ano po yung favorite niya yung pag-aralan nung nag-aaral pa siya? Ah, okay. So kung si ano, tinanong ni Wendell kung ano yung natapos niya, ikaw kung ano yung gusto niyong pag-aralan. No? Tapos para related yung mga tanong niyo, si Jessica naman, kung hindi siya natapos ng ophthalmology, no? uh, ano siya kaya ngayon? Thank you. Very good. Okay. Ira, yes. I reject the lacus. Opo, alam po. Bali tatanong ko sir kung ilang language po yung kaya yung alam niya sir. Very good. Ilang kaya yung language na kaya niya ng ano no? Rain hindi lang niya na ano no fluent siya talaga no. Very good. Interesting. Yes, uh, um Michael. Yes, please. Okay, may Sir, tatanong ko kung bakit naisipan niyang magsulat gamit ang wikang Espanyol. Oh, Bakit yun ang lingkong? Bakit yun ang ginamit niya? Bakit hindi Tagalog, no? O, oh, masasagot natin yan sa mga discussion natin. Very good, no? Uh, okay, uh, si Jana nag-chat, no? Ano yung kumuna? Share ko muna sa inyo. Sabi niya, ano daw ang itatanong niya kay Isa? Kung bakit hindi niya po natapos yung ah, okay, nobelang makamisa. Ah, very good. Nag-discussion na ba tayo? Do we have our discussion ready with this topic? Hindi pa? Sa module ko? Hindi pa pa. Pero, ah, okay. Pero mga tanong niyo parang they are related talaga. Ano, ano ba? Yung tanong ni, ni, ano, ni, uh, 
Mm-hmm. About 100 sana. No? Very good. Okay. That's considered, kahit na chat box lang yung ano mo dyan, yeah, that is considered 10 points, no? Type mo 10 points, no? Hindi recitation. When they're 10 points, yung type mo. Okay. I type mo, type. <laughs> okay. Thank you for that, uh, <clears throat> kanina, no? Si Season, no? Mr. Season, yung wala ako. Kamag, ano sabi ko, Mr. Season? Kung ano po, kung bakit Spanish language oh, po oh, yung... Sorry. Sorry, I'm just na uh, may short-term memory na. <laughs> may say, so, short-term memory yung hindi na agad-agad na ano, re-register. And then, thank you for that uh, season. You know, Oo oh, nga, no, bakit kaya in, uh, yun ang ano niya. No? And then another ano, sa chat box. Okay. Great. Siguro yung major problem sa microphone. Ano no? si ah, eh, si Erica no? Erica thank you for uh what's the question of Erica no? Anong sabi niya Pepe, anong masasabi mo sa bata niya? Ma no? Kung buhay pa kaya siya ngayon, ano kaya yung ano niya no sasabihin niya sa kabataan? Siguro familiar si Erica na kinsa lang nagsabi, di ba, ang kabataan ng pag-asa ng bayan. Thank you for that. And then, Marie, Marie, si Sheena Cernal, no? Cernal, sorry, Marie, Miss Cernal. Ask ko din po siya if sinong naging inspirasyon niya. Ah, tama, very good. Okay, so baka makumutan ko pa, no, yung kay Cernal. <coughs> uh, baka hindi natin matake sa discussion yun, no? Yes, probably Rizal uh, wrote, no, in the novel, no, Limitangere. Eh. Sa bagay, di-discuss natin yan. When you talk about module 3, ay module 4, no? Ah, okay. So, preserve yung sagot kay ano pala, kay Marisila, no? And si Ira, ata may gustong itanong, Ira. So, even at chat box, that is considered 10 points. O, oh, pasahin ko muna kay ano, uh, Ronald. Uh, ang sabi ni Ronald, uh, he wanted to ask daw uh, kung ano ang kalakasan at kainan niya. Okay. So, yung strength and weakness niya, no? Okay, very good. Parang understanding the self yun, no? Okay, very good, Ronald. And then, kay Miss Tejano, no? si Angelica, sabi niya, uh, mas gugustuhin pa rin pa po ba niya na sinakot na lang tayo ng Espanya kesa sa current, ha, okay kesa sa, sa current situation po ng Pilipinas ngayon. Parang ano, no, nga, no. O, kasi, you know, in our previous discussion with the province of Spain, and that was in 1821, no, sana we just, siguro parang inis niya, ni, ano, ni Ms. Tejano na yung total, sana naging ano na lang tayo ng Espanya, no. And then another question in the chat box, kay Jim Maren, no, kunanan, Matipan sa uh, talento mo, ano ang naging dahilan o inspirasyon mo? Bakit nakagawa ka ng malalim o makahulugang akda? Oh, napakalalim ang tanong niya. No? Tama, okay? Uh, si Ann Monique Togio, attendance na. Si Everson, attendance din lang, okay? Ay, ito si Ashley. May tanong siya, no? Sabi ni Ashley... Uh, ako po, ano, nakailang bansa ang napuntahan lahat ni Rizal. Ah, yan, masasagot natin ngayon yan. Okay? It's part of our discussion. Si Christine May Umali, Sir, tatanong ko po kung proud po ba siya sa Pilipinas ngayon. Wow, napakaganda ng mga tanong nyo. Oh. No, oh, no. It's something na it, it, uh, very significant with our present situation. No? Tama. Si Jay Seals, Sebrero, ang kalak sa Verano, no? okay? Itatanong ko po na ano sa tingin mong pinakamabisang paraan para maayos yung gobyerno ngayon, no? Nga, no? Parang ginawa natin ngayon si Rizal na expert of everything, no? Because of your question, like the question of, ano, uh, GCL, no? Tama, okay? Mike Joy Tolentino asking also kung ano yung naging witness niya nung nag-aaral siya ng multiple language sa okay tama okay ah ah yan masasagot natin yan sa discussion and then we have as uh, si Jabes so nagparandam si Jabes okay 
bilang isang simpleng mamo mam mamamay mamayanan wa wow, okay napakahirap no na chief sa gina in, in, na ano mo yung ano ko ha bilang isang <coughs> mamayanan bakit mas pinili niya ang yung maging bosses ng bayan wow knowing na uh, it will risk his life tama no oo did Rizal aware that about that maybe in our discussion we will see no those questions will uh, in our discussion we'll see if all your question has been ano answered no do yung kay ano uh, masasagot pa lang yun sa module 4 no ah si Jose no si si Jose Glenn Tampos no magkaklas yan dati no si Jessica si James no ano ang favorite food niya sa mga bansang nakainan niya ah okay so Walang masyadong na-mention doon, uh, no? kaya lang yung, yung activity ninyo related sa doon, no? yung di ba, one of your worksheet, I think that is worksheet number four or number three, uh, wherein I ask you the place no? or kung saan nakapunta si Rizal and then identify yung uh, main course na sinserve niya doon na something na signature food nila or best ano nila. No? Okay? Of course, uh, if you talk about Rizal's food, no? Uh, maybe nagre-reflect kasi yung minsan yung kung anong gusto mo, di ba, sa mga sinulat mo. And in Lola Metanchere, oh, parang reserve din yung question niya, no? no? Na-mention yung tinola, no? Hmm. And then, na-mention din yung sampura, champurado na merienda niya, no? Kaya yung boy. Pero sa mga bansa, uh, ang isa lang na-mention doon na uh, in my, you know, though hindi na natin may love rate yun, one time when he was in Salzburg, Germany, uh, they inappreciate yung white beer, no? Base beer, white beer, no? Yun. Okay? Another question, galing kay Ira. Sir, tatanong ko po kung sa, sa lahat ng lugar na pinuntahan niya, ano saan lang ang pinakapaborito niya? Ah, yan, masasagot yan. Does I love Paris? No? Gusto gusto niya sa Paris. Okay, ano, Arian, sa Panta, baka hindi tayo matapos sa discussion dahil sa mga question, no? Hindi, biro lang. Tatanong ko po kay Rizal, bakit siya nag na mag-aral na ang medisina? Tama, okay, very good. Masasagot yun later. Si Catherine sa Panta, Sir, sa palagay pa ba niya, ah, Sir, sa palagay pa ba niya, kailang pa ba niya ng, ng mga Pilipino ang isang bayaning katulad niya? Ah, okay, very good. Do we need a leader like, or a hero like him? No? Oh, actually, hindi man naging leader si Rizal, no? kung titignan natin. And yung pagiging bayani niya, hindi rin niya alam actually. No? And then, sir, I would like to ask, uh, hindi ba niya inisip mag... Ah, okay, masasagot din natin yan. Dami pa ng query, ha? Ah. Itatanong ko po kung ano, ah, si Adrian to, no? ah, naging lakas ng loob ni Rizal para sacrifice on sarili okay did he really sacrifice no so those question no they are very interesting na kailangan masagot na yung parang ano yan eh parang ano yan ah uh, parang ano yan uh, fake news no fake news and then uh, i think you are familiar with misinformation and disinformation sa facebook no parang fake news no yan okay that uh as money si togyo no Tatanong ko po ano ang tunay na nangyari noong inasapasuhan na inasapasuhan. Muni ka na yan. Inasapasahan ka na. Ah, ina-accuse. Uh, being accused. Okay. So, Jib, may follow-up pa. Pag uh, sabi niya, kabataan ng pag-asa ng bayan sa panahon. Ang kabataan ng bayan. Ah, tinanong ka nila yan. Today, sir, tatanong ko kung uh, okay, I think uh, tatanong ko, uh, sir, tatanong ko lang po sa kanya kung sa bawat bansang pinuntaan niya, ilan ang naging, ah, ito, fake news to, tadeyo, asawa niya. Ang itatanong, uh, kay Pete Tyron, no? Ang itatanong ko po kung sa panahon ngayon, anong magagawa niya, very good, is very ano, significant. Sa bayan ngayon, kung uh, sariling kababayan ang kanyang kalaban, ha? Napaka, ano naman ni Tyron, very good. Sir, tatanong ko po kung anong language uh, nahirapan. Ah, ma may ano yan, may explain sa discussion natin. Anong masasabi mo? Uh, eh, ay, si ano yun ha? Si, sa language na yan, Jason David. And then, si Erica. Is this the second question? Erica, anong masasabi mo na nasa 
ano ang masasabi mo na nasa ibatas na mga gawa mo at pinag ah, okay, proud siya, no? Okay, uh, so there are many questions pa, no? Just ka may follow pa rin, okay? So last na itong kay Just ka sa, sa tingin mo pa, sapat pa ba lahat ng isang sulat mong nobela upang mamulat ang mga Pilipino sa katuan hanggang ngayon ba tayo ay nabubulag uh, nagbulag-bulagan napaka ano naman o handa na ba tayong harapin kung ano tayo okay very good uh, i will not entertain other question no? but if you chat your question at the box uh, that is equivalent to 10 points already for your restation no no racial i think nagaano si Rachel para mabisita tanong din no okay so all those questions, let's try them. Uh, probably, I hope they will be answered during our discussion. No, okay, natin, no. So, so probably if we will conduct survey, kung magsasurvey tayo, pwedeng majority, uh, the question might be about his family or something to do with education. Of course, yung mga question yung kanina, no, it has something to do with this education. And then writing, so mga sinulat niya related din yung mga ibang tanong ninyo like big science others, no? About love life, yan yung and then bakit di siya nag-anak or maraming nasawa sabi niya, no? Uh, sabi ko nga fake news yun, no? Yung travel, no? Okay? And then something to do about life, no? Yung buhay niya, okay? So as I mentioned, hindi natin talaga ma-elaborate lahat, no? Uh, yung sinasabi uh, mga tinatanong ninyo okay and yun nga no and then i wa uh, <clears throat> uh, ano lang naman yung something na kung ano lang ang pwedeng ma-discuss ngayon no okay so let us meet the family of Rizal yan ang pamilya ni Rizal no yan s'yempre kailangan makilala natin kung because we consider Rizal as our one of our national hero no so take note, uh, uh, Rizal is not, uh, what I mean, hindi siya yung pambansang bayani natin. Isa siya sa ating pambansang bayani. Kung baga wala naman tayong dineclare that Rizal is our national hero. No? But during the American time, it was uh, chosen. No? Uh, parang the American that time, uh, parang in-assign nila na, or something, they, yes, parang in-assign or in-appoint na Rizal will be our national hero. Then later on, um, in ano na yun, no? parang hindi naman na naisabatas yun. No? Uh, so, so ngayon, ang re-recognize natin, national heroes. No? Hindi hero, hindi isa. So it's not Rizal. No? Hindi si Rizal ang ating pambansang bayani. Isa lang siya sa ating mga pambansang bayani. Parang sa mga ano natin, no? Uh, di ba nung bata tayo, anong pambansang bulaklak, sa pagita? Hindi pa, hindi yan, no? Hindi na. And then, pinalitan ng waling-waling noon, no? And then, anong pambansang, ano natin, sport, dati si pa, ngayon si Pakakaraw. Pero hindi pa na ano yan. They are not yet constitutionalized that those are our national something, no? Okay. So, going back to the family of Rizal, no? So, Rizal father, yung full name niya, Francisco Mercado Rizal. Kaya lang sa internet, ito yung nakuha ko, no? And then, yung mother niya, si Chidora Alonso E. Rialonda, ang tawag niya sa rana Lola, no? May, magtata may, gusto, may ano ba? Na, may gustong magtanong ba? Kung wala na po, pakimute na lang yung microphone, no? Dismute yung microphone para hindi magkaroon ng feedback or something na interruption with our discussion. Okay? Thank you. And then, of course, from the uh, from Francisco and Chidora, they were blessed no, with 11 children. No? So, si Rizal meron siyang 10 siblings. No? So, the eldest, si Saturnina, no, ang, tawag ni, ang tawag sa kanya, uh, Ninya, Sumunod sa kanya, the only brother of Rizal, no? si Pasiano. <clears throat> okay? Ang tawag niya, Utoy. No? Uh, sabi nila, kaya Utoy, hindi niya daw mas masabi yung word na Utol. No? Pero hindi niya daw, how true is that? And then kay Pasiano, sumunod si Sisa. Si Sisa, minsan ina-associate yan sa kanyang novelang Noli Metangere kay Sisa. No? Kasi si Sisa, full name din niya, Narcisa. No? So siya, palayo din niya, Sisa. Now, uh, sumunod kay Sisa, we have Olympia or Apia. And then si Lucia, and then si Bayang, no? si Maria. No? 
And then sumunod kay Bayang, si Rizal. So kung titignan natin, si Rizal pang pitu siya, no? Sa mga magkakapatid. Nasa middle siya, no? Kung titignan natin, parang middle child, no? Ang sumunod kay Rizal, uh, si Concepcion. Kaya lang si Concepcion died at age of three, no? Uh, uh, nung nagkasakit siya kasi, kaya at a very young age, namatay na siya. And then, and story and consider this as Rizal first sorrow, no? This is the time though that Rizal was experienced uh, what we call melancholy or something sadness in his life, no? And then, sa internet, kapag uh, tinignan nyo to, no? Uh, nag-search ka, minsan may mga mali, no? Kasi dito, tignan yung date. 1859 to 1945, no? Pareho nung date yung kay Mumbayang, no? Mali ito, no? At yung picture dito mali din kaya tinakpan ko kasi wala nang walang na-save na picture kay ano Conception kasi at at 3 years old na matay na siya no siguro meron siyang baby picture pero hindi na na ano no ang nakalagay yata ditong picture si kung hindi si Leonor Rivera or si Josephine Bracken no kaya tinakpan ko siya ng ganyan okay kaya minsan uh, sa internet no uh, yung source natin no minsan merong misinformation o disinformation. Kaya kailangan we know how to fact check, no? Yung fact checking, no? Yung nga. Bawa, um, majority in your class, yung sinagot about the advantage and disadvantage of Rizal, wherein, yung nag-search sila, nakita na lang account, or what I mean, nakita na lang, nakita na lang source, yung uh, write-up, something to do with uh, Rizal law, wherein the student in UP are what we call opposing, no? yun ang nakita nila, no? Majority yun ang, kaya yun ang naging basis nila, yung disadvantage. Tama naman yun, no? Tama naman. Pero, when you, uh, this, ano ah, parang kapag nag-research na kayo, alam nyo rin. So, kapag hindi galing sa inyo yung, ano, yung <coughs> uh, facts, no? We can, we can say that it's a fact, di ba? Pero that facts, it can be also what we call misinformation or disinformation, no? When we uh, considered, uh, or rather, when we quote, no, or something na pag nag-quote tayo, kailangan isite natin. Kasi may ano lang parang copy paste, uh, uh, parang sinabi uh, in the survey conducted by our university or by our school. Of course, our school did not conduct any study about that, no. And that is, that actually happened in the past, no, matagal na yun. Hindi, hindi bago yun, no. And besides, no, uh, that time, kasi yung UP, if we talk about student in UP, or the, yeah, the UP student, probably they don't like this al. Bakit? Personal biases, no? Di ba, nabiscuss natin yan sa, ano, uh, na may, yung author may personal biases sila, wherein they assert their beliefs, their, ano, parang yung nagsulat doon, ganun din. That's their personal sentiments and bias, biases, kasi, they don't like Rizal kasi yung UP, masa siya. What I mean masa, uh, parang pro mahirap or pro, pro sa, sa mga nasa laylayan. Si Rizal kasi elitista. What I mean uh, mayaman, uh, siyempre atinista, atineo. Okay, pero no, uh, alam nyo ba na may dating ano, fake news. Kung totoo daw matalino si Rizal, bakit di nag-aral sa UP? Any comment about that? Siyempre, hindi siya talaga mag-aaral sa UP because UP that time is not yet uh, uh, what do you call it? Founded. UP na found pa lang siya, if I'm not mistaken, 1903 or something, 1911, parang mga ganun, no? Kaya, or or later pa, no? Sorry for that, no? Baka ma-mistake ko Kaya, hindi talaga nag-aaral si Rizal sa UP. Yes, of course, very known yung UP for being intelligent, no? Ngayon, napunta dito yung discussion natin. Bakit? Yun nga, no? I just want you to uh, to ano I uh, to correct something na dapat ganito ang ginagawa no uh, wag, and then yun nga minsan in, kailangan we argued no kung nabasa ko to totoo ba to okay yung parang fact checking ngayon kung ito yung sinasabi nila kasi napaka negative sinasabi nila no di ba yung in that in that uh, writing that result course in this related sa specialization namin, hindi namin siya magagamit. Uh, it's something that's laborious, maraming, mag, it's an hindrance, hindi kami makapag-focus sa major namin, of course. No? Okay. Now, uh, to answer that, no, of course, result course is not all, hindi siya in offer 
na inoffer yung course na yan dahil related siya sa specialization niyo. Hindi, hindi siya inoffer as that. Rizal course was offered to all Filipinos or to uh, to all universities in the Philippines. Uh, probably yung discuss natin sa Rizal law uh, because they want no uh, uh, they want to develop yung uh, social responsibility, civic awareness, yung pagiging nationalism natin, and of course to discover our identity no. Kaya binago na rin siya. Kasi yung tinuturo kong Rizal ngayon, for the past 11 years or 12, uh, in the 13 years to be exact, nung, when I start teaching it, hindi siya ganyan. Hindi, yung, hindi ganyan yung approach. Kaya binago siya nung nagkaroon ng K-12 para maano siya. And then may nag- no? Okay. I just want to share that no? uh, with regard to what we call kailangan when uh, properly cited kapag inano mo siya, no? kapag kinote mo. Okay? And then you have to verify also, is this true? Parang ganon, no? Parang when you uh, read comments or posts in Facebook, like for example, and dami nga yung uh, chance ko na, no? Para, ano? And dami nga yung sa Facebook uh, lumalabas something to do with Marcos. The golden age of the Philippines, no? Sabi nila. Of course, uh, you were not born and when Marcelo has been declared, no, 1972, di ba? Ako rin di pa na, na, nasilang, no, kasi I am 1976. But, uh, of course, hindi nyo rin na witness something what happened in during the declaration of martial law, no, ang tagal nun. And then, wala rin naman kayong napagtanungan na totoo ba talaga yan, no? So, probably, uh, sa Facebook, makikita mo, dalawang ano yan, no, dalawa yung yung isa, sinasabi, yung negative, yung isa, sinasabi, yung positive. Ngayon, ano yung totoo? No? And I think you are aware when Tony Gonzaga uh, orchestrated, no? Or parang pinaybor niya si Bongbong Marcos, no? Or the Marcoses as regard to the interview, no? Yung, yung mag- Do, hindi ko pa napanood yun, no? Okay, so, so the lesson that we are trying to, uh, nung, ngayon, that parang fact checking no okay so wag tayong pa deceive i think you are voters now no if you will go siguro influence ko na kayo no if you are going to ask me no to marcoses never no never to the marcoses kay kailan no wala wag wag nating ano yun kasi talagang yung kung ano sila sabi ni nang negative about martial law about the presidency of marcos totoo lahat yon okay and the credit for maunlad yung Pilipinas the time, nagsimula yan kay Diyos Lado Makapagal. No? It's not Marcos. And then, dumami yung utang natin because of Marcos. Kaya, those things that you have read in the ano, uh, Facebook, huwag paniwalaan something na yung golden age ng Pilipinas. No? Okay. So, we are talking about here about Rizal. No? Siguro parang yun ang tanong ng isang kaklase ninyo Anong masasabi ni Rizal sa kasalukuyan ngayon, no? Parang re-represent ko lang, no? Kumbaga, ano ba naman si Sir? Ba't ganito ang mapunta dito yung discussion natin, no? Yun nga, going back, yung Rizal hindi in offers sa HRM, sa education, sa, en- sa mga engineering courses, architecture, dahil related siya, hindi siya talaga related, no? At hindi siya talaga magagamit sa profession ninyo binang HRM, unless gagawa ka ng mga recipe mo na no limit tangere favorite parang ganun no or no limit tangere uh, menu parang ganun pwede yon no magagamit mo lang ganun no pero uh, re- uh, realistically no hindi naman talaga okay okay so sumunod kay conception and reaction about that we have OSEPA, no? OSEPA. And then, followed by OSEPA, we have training si Trinidad, no? And the youngest was Solidad, no? Si uh, uh, Solidad, <coughs> nakasin tawag kay Solidad, no? Okay. So, these are the family of Rizal, no? Now, when we talk about Rizal ancestors, in the father side of Rizal, sa father side ni Rizal, no? They are what we call Chinese, no? In 1690, uh, from the record, no, uh, that was the time where its great 
great grandfather Domingo Lamco migrated in the Philippines. No, galing siya sa Fujian, China, no, sa Changchow, no. Okay. So, and and then later on, may uh, great great granddaughter ni Rizal na uh, sumulat siya, no, yung si Lolo Jose uh, na prove niya na si Domingo Lamco anak siya ni Shonko at ni Zhao Niu. Now, when Domingo Lamco migrated in the Philippines in 1609, naging wife niya si Ines de la Rosa, probably mestiza, no? Hindi siya pure Indio or Filipino. Then, then Doming and Domingo Lamco and Ines de la Rosa, nagkaroon siya ng anak na si Francisco. But this Francisco is not yet the father of Rizal, no? Hindi pa yan yung tatay ni Rizal. And Francisco, naging wife niya si Bernarda Monicia, no? naging anak niya si Juan Mercado. Ito yung lolo ni ni Rizal, no? Naging wife niya si Cyril Alejandro, no? Now, both Francisco Mercado and Juan Mercado are somehow, no, they what we call seated or something they served the government as being the mayor or governor silyo in Binyan Laguna, no? Naging politician din, no, yung kanyang mga lolo uh, uh, lolo Uh, ano bang tawag natin nolo sa tuod? Parang ganun, no? And then, si Juan Mercado and si Alejandro, uh, nagkaroon siya ng 13 children, no? And the youngest, Francisco Mercado, yung tatay ni Rizal. Okay. So, as you can see, ano yung... Okay, um... With the family tree of Rizal, no, uh, with the father's side, ano yung napansin ninyo? Anyone in the class? Ano yung napansin ninyo sa family tree ni Rizal? Sir? Sir? Yes, Tyron. Tyron, I think you are the one. Ikaw yung nagsasalita, tama? Ay, sir, si Pang Magda. Okay, na, nagkataon lang na gano'n rin siya. Yes, Jessica. Sir, sino po si Antonio Vargas tsaka si Ana Beatriz? Ah, yung hindi ko sinabi kanina dito. Hindi, yung, <laughs> yan ang parent ni Francisco, ayan, yung arrow. Ay, parent ni Bernardo Monica. Tapos yan, actually, yung sila na nanagay ko, pero may parent yan. Okay, thank you. So, aside from that, ano pa? Okay, isa isa na napansin ni Jasper Bird. Pan Tyron, are you the one who are, ano, uh, you unmute yourself? Yes, Sige. po. Um, okay. Sa apelido po, paano yes. po naging merkado yung from Lam Lamco, sir? Very good. Okay, after yun ang hinihintay kong itanong ninyo, no? Uh, aside sa tinanong ni Jasky, hanap nyo muna yung ano, okay? So that's 10 points na, uh, Tyron. Tama! <clears throat> okay, big, napansin yung date, 1731, no? Bigla-bigla lumabas. Tama si Tyron, no? Tignan ninyo, no, from Shonko, Shonyo, and then Domingo Lamco. And then later on, si Domingo Lamco, bakit yung anak niya, si Francisco Mercado na, na saan napunta yung Lamco? Parang ganun, no? O, siguro kay Isa Sigera, no? Kaya yung Lamco. Yung kanta niya, alam ko, hindi mo pansin nung no? hindi. Joke lang, okay? Tama si Tyron. Kasi, kaya si Domingo Lamco, in our previous discussion, di ba, sabi ko, there was a time, that all the settlers or people in the Philippines, they were required to change their surname into Spanish surname. Kaya nung 1731, si Domingo Lamco, no, uh, he assumed the surname na Mercado. Ngayon, bakit Mercado yung napili niyang apelido? apelido no? Kasi nga, yung work ni, Mercad, ni Domingo Lamco is in the market. The mercado as a Spanish language or a Spanish word, it can be translated in, into English as what we call market. Okay? So yun, uh, kaya very good observation tayo naman. Thank you. Kay Jessica naman ito, bakit sino sila? They are the parent of Fernand siya. No? Si Sira na meron din. Hindi ko na lang linagay yun. Okay? Now, on the, so this is the father's side. No? So as you can see on the father's side of Rizal, it was Chinese. No? Mga Chinese sila. Okay, now on the mother's side, maternal side, so nalam, yung great-great-grandfather ni Rizal, si Uwenyo Urzua, anak siya ni Estanislao. Dito, Urzua na talaga kasi the word Urzua is Spanish, no? And then, naging wife niya si Benigna, nung no, walang surname na nakalagay. 
And then, naging anak nila si Regina, na naging asba niya si Manuel de Quintos, na anak ni Manuel de Quintos, as ni Rosa, no? And then, si Regina and Manuel, they have daughter also, si Brigida, no? Na naging anak, uh, naging asba niya si Lorenzo Alberto Alonso, na anak ni Cipriano Alonso, ni Maria Florentina, no? Now, with this couple, dito, uh, ito yung mga parang, of course, these are the lolo or grandfather of Rizal na parent ni Chidora. Nagkaroon sila ng anak na apat, no? Si Chidora Alonso being the eldest, sumunod yung kanyang mga tiyo, no? Uh, hindi ko lang mas, ma, ano, kung si Tiyo Manuel bang sumunod, pero dun so si Tiyo o si Alberto. Tiyo Manuel, Tiyo Gregorio, and Tiyo o si Alberto. So those are the, and then, of course, those three tiyos are very influential to kay Rizal, no? Si Gregorio about reading, marami siyang book. Kay Manuel, concern niya sa physical ano, activity, no? Si Jose Alberto, mainig siya sa art, kaya yun, no? So, so these are the mat, uh, maternal side of Rizal. So as you can see, uh, as regard to the what blood dominated Rizal, it's something to do with Chinese or Japanese, no? Yung percentage ng blood niyang pagka-Indio, napaka-konti lang. Kasi mga mestisa na yung mga ano nila, no? Nag, yung mag, naging wife nila. Halimbawa, si, si Domingo Lamco, si Ines de la Rosa, mestiza na siya, no? Okay. So, moving on. May question ba? Concern? Tanong ba? Wala. Okay. Now, uh, as I mentioned a while ago, we cannot come up into a detail as regard to the discussion kay Rizal. Kaya, we will, ano, ah, parang mag-skip tayo ng isang kabanata ng buhay ni Rizal. So we're now moving with Pepe and the Gombursa in 1872. So at 1872, Rizal is already 11 years old kasi pinanganak si Rizal noong June 19, 1861. No? So what happened in 1872? Uh, one of the significant things that happened in 1872, uh, on January 20, 1872, there are 200 Filipinos and mestizo workers as well as the soldiers no, rose in mutiny in Cavite. Ngayon, bakit sila nag-aklas or, or no, they come up into a rebellion, no? Bakit? nag sila dahil si Governor General uh, Francisco Esquerdo Isaldua, it changed, no? Binago niya yung kanilang parang rights or yung mga dating privileges na natatanggap nila. One of those privileges yung exemption sa tribute, no? And then another privilege yung sa ano, working hour, dati, Parang mayroong break, may ganun. And then, in-implement niya yung polo is servicio or what we call forced labor. Kaya, nagahalit sila. Pero yung pag aklas nila, hindi naging successful. They were, ano, no? They were uh, na-suppressed, no? By the troops in Manila. However, <clears throat> naging very significant din yung panahon nito, 18, 1872, because this is the time where in the three Filipino priests, the, what's what we know in our history as the Gombursa, no, yung mga Gombursa, nabitay sila through Garote. But the big question is, bakit ba, bakit ba nagarote sila? Bakit ba sila yung pinagbintangan na sila ang dahilan? Bakit may kabite mutiny? Or bakit nag-aklas yung mga ano? Okay? So what is the reason behind that? May political ano dyan, no, sa kaparian. So this is what we call the interclerical conflict. So in our previous discussion, alam, alam natin na si Padre Pedro Felaez, isang Kriol, wherein it's advocacy or parang yung pinu, uh, pinupromote niya or pinaglalaban niya that, uh, that the parishes in the Philippines uh, will be headed or led by the Filipino priests, yung Filipinization of the parishes, no? So this secular priest. That uh, advocacy of Father uh, uh, Pelayo, no, uh, tinuluyan ni Padre Burgos. Now, sino ba yung mga kaalaban ng mga secular priests, the religious priests, particularly the Dominican and the Augustinian priests, no? Of course, kung hindi ka Catholic, you are not familiar about those, no? And actually, kahit Catholic, kami siya nindi rin. Uh, say, uh, of course, uh, something to do with priests sa kaparihan, no? no? Now, so dahil nga uh, yung tatlong pa, actually, not all these priests are somehow no related sa sinasabi kung they want to continue the advocacy or what you call yung gustong mangyari ni Father 
uh, Pedro Pilaes, only Jose Burgos, no? Uh, kaya lang, uh, yung ibang parang mga to, may parang siguro, they are, because they are Filipino, no? Kaya dinawit din sila. So they were implicated in the Cavite mutiny, di ba? In our, uh, hindi ko pa lang in-elaborate. So yung nag, ano sa kanila, nag-pinpoint, no? Na sila yung dahilan ay ginawa ni ng uh, witness si uh, Francisco Saldua. Si Francisco Saldua, isa sa mga nag-aklas din, no? kasama sa mga 20 Filipino and Spanish mestizo workers. Kaya lang, uh, nung nalaman niyang hindi successful yung kanilang uh, uh, pag-aklas, parang gusto niyang isave yung sarili niya. Akala niya, pag ginawa niya yun na mag-witness siya na sa mga tatlong paring ito, hindi siya masasama sa mabibitay. Pero on February 17, 1872, yung, uh, with the three Filipino priests, they uh, as uh, together with the, their witness Francisco Sadua, they were executed through Garote at Bagumbayan. No. Now, how can uh, how do we know na hindi talaga related yung tatlong paring ito? No. Si Padre um, Mariano Gomez, no, that time is already 81 years old. Makin matanda na sa sama kapadon hindi na di ba? And Besides that, no, as being an 81 years old, yung kanyang Paris or naka-assign siya sa Marikina. Si Padre Jose Burgos, siya lang talaga naman. Na, of course, si Burgos talagang gusto niyang ipagpatuloy yun. And that time, Burgos was in Manila, no, Manila Cathedral. No? At yung sumunod sa kanya, si Jacinto Zamora, it, siya lang yung nasa Cavite. No? And Padre Jose Burgos is the youngest among them. No? If you watch the link no ng sa module natin you are interested to know yung kaano ni Shaw Time no ni Shaw Chua meron siyang ano doon no parang expose or something na uh, talking about Jose Burgos is from Ilocos ang dami niyang natapos no uh, to mention them kaya sabi ko hindi natin talaga may elaborate okay so titingnan na natin talagang dinawit ng sila no they were only implicated in the Cavite mutiny eh, in the person of Francisco Saldua no? And during their execution, si Pasiano, na kay, naging kaibigan ni Padre Jose Burgos, naging teacher niya sa, sa Coleo de San Jose, uh, nandun siya. No? And then upon witnessing the execution, natakot siyang bigla. And then what he did, he returned home, bumalik siya ng Kalamba, and then he told the story to his younger brother, si Pepe. No? No? And that time also, 1872, no, um, umuwi siya, and then sinabi niya kung anong nangyari. And some historian uh, believe, no, uh, the death of these three Filipino priests, it's some some of the beginning or what we call, uh, yes, yung pinagmulan ng ating nationalismo o yung narandaman daw ng mga nag narandaman ng mga Indio na they are Filipino and they have sentiment about the uh, about these three priests, no, parang bigla bigla nagkaroon ng parang uh, ano parang idea na Pilipino o oh, sa amin tong bansang ito parang ganun no kasi for 300 years walang ano di ba walang rebellion and then wala nang complain na paano si mga Kastila sa Pilipinas kaya nga sabi nga ng isang kaklase ninyo baka may regret si Rizal na sana hindi na lang parang ganun uh, with our present situation ngayon no okay so to continue this also, 1872, coincide while Rizal was in Manila together with Pasiano, no? yung nanay naman ni Rizal, nadawit naman or nakulong siya dahil napagbintangan siya, nilalasin yung asawa ng kanyang kapatid, si Jose Alberto, si Chodora Formosa. No? Ngayon, bakit nangyari yon? Kasi siguro na-witness ni Chodora na si Formosa may ginagawang hindi maganda kapag umaalis si Jose Alberto. No? Eh... eh Eh, para makaligtas sa siguro doon, uh, ang ginawa niya, one time si Chudora, nagsaserve siya ng, ano, ng merienda sa kanya. No? And then, uh, hindi man ginalaw ni Chudora, uh, ni yung wife ni si Alberto, yung uh, merienda na sinerve niya, pinakain niya sa kanyang aso, si Ronquillo. No? And na-mention ko yung Ronquillo niyan kasi yung documentary ni, ano, ni Howie Severino, if you watch, no, yung ang lihim ng pamilya ni Rizal, makikita niyo doon, no? Uh, how 
paano na frame up si Chidora. Yun, pinakain sa aso na matay yung aso. Then, it's mother na kulong siya for three years. At yun ang matanda na that time, no? Kung titignan natin, okay? So, we cannot elaborate, no? Now, let's move to Rizal in Ateneo. So, at least related pa sa 1872 yan, no? So, this is the oldest structure of Ateneo, no? Uh, originally, Ateneo, uh, in our previous discussion in 1859, there are 10 Jesuit migrate, uh, arrived in the Philippines, and then they found the school of what we call Escuela Pia, or School for Charity, and then later on, naging Ateneo de Municipal. And that school was originally uh, situated in Intramuros. At ito yun, no? Ganyan siya. Yan, no? Oo, kaya even in PowerPoint, no? Kailangan i-check din natin yung mga picture na pinupost natin, linalagay natin. Limbawa, this PowerPoint, baka hindi pala ito yung ano. So, we have to verify din, no? And kaya, kaya dapat din reliable yung source natin, no? Now, so originally, ay, may tama. Okay, so nagulat pa ako na wala. Originally, uh, before uh, Ateneo, dapat mag-aaral si Rizal sa San Juan de Letran. No? Mayaman talaga, no? Do you know San Juan de Letran? Nag-exist pa rin siya ngayon, no? Napaka-old. Last time na, na I have my conference there, no? Uh, I present one of my paper in research, I think, about yung sa Mahinsi, no? And kung nandun ka, kung pupunta ka ng Intramuros, ano yung mararandaman mo? Parang mararandaman mo na uh, nasa ano ka, bumalik ka ng panahon ni Rizal, bumalik ka ng 19th century Philippines, or baka earlier pa, no? baka bumalik ka sa panahon na nung sinulat ni Morga yung successes ni Les Des Pilipinas. Okay? So, in June 10, 1872, dapat mag enroll siya, or yes, he already passed the entrance exam in San Juan de Letran. No? Kaya yung San Juan de Letran, di ba, inano niya, parang siguro, ewan natin kung he also acknowledged that Rizal was their alumni, no? one of their alumni, no? Na-acknowledge na yun, even though hindi naman nag-aral doon. Pwede siguro yun, no? Now, what happened? So, in that year, June 10, 1872, yung kapatid ni Rizal, again, it was its brother, Pasyano, enrolled him, no? Or, yes, sabi nga sa pagkasulat ni Saide, matriculated Rizal in Ateneo de Municipal. But that time, no, uh, muntik nang hindi makapag-aral si Rizal. Bakit? Kasi yung uh, registral ng uh, Ateneo, stricto, si Father Maginterando, ayaw niyang tanggapin si Rizal uh, for three reasons. Ano yung mga yun? Una, sabi niya, si Rizal daw uh, parang late na for the registration. Pangalawa, bukas ang sakitin. He's no uh, frail, no, or sickly and frail. And then yung pangatlo, parang hindi naman kapanipinawala na mag-high school siya kasi maliit, no? payat, maliit. And then yung parang yung uh, kung 11 years old siya, hindi siya mukhang 11 years old. Kaya ayaw tanggapin ni Father uh, Magin Ferrando. Now, through the influence of the nephew of Father Jose Burgos, nandun kasi related kasi doon si, yung pamangking niya, si uh, Manuel uh, Ceres Burgos. So, parang merong nangyaring uh, padrino system, no? So, natanggap si Rizal, no? According to the historian, no? Yun ang inuna na. How do we know how true is that? Baka pala, ano yun, fake news o kaya chismis lang yun, no? Okay. So, when Rizal stayed in Ateneo, no? I will not elaborate, no? From first year to third year hanggang fourth year. So, probably, nag-excel siya, No? He excelled in Ateneo from first year to fourth year. Uh, he became emperor in the class. Ibig sabihin palagi siyang top one, no? And marami siyang award, particularly in Latin, no? Uh, a while ago, one of her classmates asking how did he learn a lot of language, no? Mayaman eh. May tutor siya. Bata pa lang si Rizal, no? Uh, as mentioned by in the book of Saide, no? Or in the work of Saide, at five years old, he already knew how to read the Spanish Bible. Five years old, no? So, kung uso na yung Facebook noon, magbabiral si Rizal, no? And then, of course, uh, gumraduate siya. Uh, nung gumra bago siya gumraduate, naging interno siya. Ano lang naman, uh, parang identification ng mga nag-aaral sa Ateneo that time. Interno at saka externo, no? The Cartesian Empire and the Greek Empire, no? Parang ganun. Uh, pag interno ka, nagdudorm ka sa loob ng 
Ateneo. Pag external ka, outside. So, si Rizal, fourth year na nung naging interno, no? And, of course, he graduated uh, with ISO on March 23, 1877 and recognized as Pride of the Jesuit. Kaya kung pupunta ka ng Ateneo, uh, ang ganda, no? Ang ganda ng school ng Ateneo. If you go in Ateneo, no? Sa Manila, sa uh, Katipunan, no? Uh, Makikita mo doon, no? uh, somehow one of yung library nila it's named after him, Rizal Library. So nga naman, dahil books yun, no? uh, katalinuhan representing Rizal, no? paano gano'n. Okay? Now, when he was in Ateneo, these are among of its accomplishment, no? Dito niya sinulat yung probably we can consider this the first form of Rizal, no? yung mi primera inspiracion or if we translate that in English, uh, my first inspiration, no? And according to uh, the readings or what you call the sinulat, he wrote this at uh, something to do with uh, its mother, no? Parang dinidescribe niya yung nanay niya. And then sabi nga, sa, sabi nga ni Saide, he gave that as a gift to its mother, no? At sakto naman, nung 1874, uh, actually, lumaya na si ano, no? I, sorry, sorry, not 1874, 1875, lumaya na si Chidora. Yun nga, no, pag pinanood yung documentary ni Awi Severino, makikita niyo doon, no, na nakulong siya, and then parang may nangyari pang, ano, parang, para madiin siya, no. In 1875, sinulat niya yung felicitaciones, or felicitaciones, sorry, singular pala, no, or felicitate, or felicitaciones, it's a Spanish word, and ginagamit yon when you want to congratulate someone. Diba? Kung gumraduate na kayo, felicitaciones, parang ganun, no? or congratulations, parang ganun siya. No? And he wrote that to honor its uh, brother-in-law na asawa ni Saturnina, si Silvestre Ubaldo. No? And sumunod doon, uh, yung un recuerdo a mi pueblo. So while he was in Ateneo in 1876, nung parang last year, uh, four years siya, Bigla niyang parang narandaman that he experienced homesickness or something. Uh, gusto niyong bumalik no? sa kalamba. Kasi uh, do you know at eight of, uh, age of eight years old, naiwalay na si Rizal kasi pinaaral na siya sa Binyan Laguna. And from Binyan Laguna, that was the time also na tinuloy niyang pag-aaral niya sa Ateneo. No? Un recuerdo a mi pueblo can be translated as in memory of my town. No? And na deadline na pala no? yung words ninyo. And these are kasama yung mga yan, no? And nung gumraduate siya, no, uh, ito yung poem na sinulat niya, no? Or parang uh, farewell or speech, no? Un dialogo a recibo a la desvida de los coliales, a dialogue to alumni, a dialogue to alumni, uh, a farewell to the colleagues, no? And when he was in Ateneo also, very significant din to, no? Yung Sacred Heart of Jesus, isa sa mga known or famous uh, sculpture na ginawa ni Rizal. Kasi at a very young age, ginawa niya yan. Now, bakit niya ginawa yan? So, Rizal advisor and naging friend din niya, si Father Francisco de Paula Sanchez. No, nung portrait siya, yung nag, siya yung nag-inspire sa kanya na magsulat. No? Siya rin parang nakadiscover na may potential si Rizal sa pagsusulat. Kaya in-encourage niya, parang minotivate niya that kaya when we talk about Rizal, ang dami niyang ginawang tula sa Ateneo, no? when he was in Ateneo. So, yung Secret of Jesus, going back to this one, ginawa yan, its advisor, Father Francisco de Paulo Sanchez, as seen, no, na, to write a poem actually about Father Leonard. Si Father Leonard, isa sa mga Jesuit na bisita nila, bisita nila noon, no, and si Father uh, Francisco de Paula Sanchez, being director of Patine at that time, gusto niya meron sa maibigay na present kay Father Leonard. So ginawa yan ni Rizal instead of doing a poem, no? Nakita niya yung isang kawin na batikuling and then nag-curve siya. And later on, hindi nadala yan, nagmamadali si Father Leonard na iwan, no? So for for how many years naka, ano yan, nakasabit or nakahang siya sa dormitory ng Ateneo, no? or nakasabit siya doon, no? kung saan nag-dorm si Rizal. Okay? Ngayon, uh, I don't have any information kung nasaan na yan, kung binalik na, na turnover na ba sa government yan as one of the exhibit no? 
Kasi kung pupunta ka ng Port Santiago naman, may isang building doon, and the exhibit is all about Rizal. Yung mga na-discover niya, nung nasa dag- uh, dapitan siya, nung nandun pa, no? And then yung makikita mo rin, malaking painting ni ano, Seiko Suwi nandun. Ano pa ba? Uh, something related about Rizal. Pero yung mga libro niya, nasa national yan, no? National uh, Museum, no? Okay? To continue. So from Ateneo, again, it's brother na naman, Sandahilan, bakit nag-aral si Rizal sa UST? Pero that time, no, uh, ang nanay ni Rizal ayaw niya, no, natatakot. Kasi nung panahon daw yun, pag edukado ka or nag-aral ka, parang yung mga Kastila, galit sa'yo, parang ganun. Parang red tag ka, no, yung ginagamit natin term ngayon na red tag, no. So, first course niya sa UST, it's philosophy and letters. Philosophy ay letras, no. Yan kasi yung course ng tatay niya, no. Yung father niya, yun ang natapos niya, no. I think pa siya, no, same, no. So, since bata siya, undecided kung anong kukunin niya, sinundan na lang niya, no, yan ang kunin niya. And then later on, bakit siya nagmedisina? Ito yung tanong ng mga kaklase ninyo, no. Uh, 1878 pa rin yun, parang nag-shift siya into course medicine. Uh, in, of course, siguro ganun lahat yung sinasabi sa libro, no. Uh, in the book of Saide, kasi yan, yan ang unang-unang reference na ginamit ko na binasa na sabi doon sa book niya, it took this course because of the advice of the rector of Ateneo, si Father Pablo Ramon, no? And then, coincide naman doon, nagkataon naman, kaya lalo siya nag-medicine, yung mata ng nanay niya may katarata. So, nag worse no? So, yun daw yung dahilan. While he was in Universidad Central de Madrid, ay, sorry, nag-advance ako, Universidad de Santa Tomas, He also took a course, a vocational course in Ateneo. Ito yung tanong ng isang kaklase ninyo naman. Ano bang natapos ni Rizal sa Ateneo? Okay, that time Ateneo, dahil bago pa lang siya, wala pa siyang college, no? And meron siyang vocational course na, uh, na natapos ni Rizal na nag-aaral sa UST, nag-aaral din siya sa Ateneo. Oh, carry nyo yun. Kaya yung gawin yun? You are attending to schools. Diba, naka-enroll ka ngayon sa MCC. And then, naka Ah, ngayon online. Baka possible, no? Parang binigyan tayo ng idea ni Rizal, no? Though you are third year already. Yung kapatid niyong magpa-first year, no? Baka mahala nyo, possible, na no? Hindi magko-complic yung oras. Kasi hindi ka naman magta-travel, di ba? O, mag-enroll ka ng Dubsu, libre doon, no? Mag-enroll ka ng MCC. O, binigyan ng idea, no? Parang ganun. E di, after four years, dalawa yung course mo, no? Ang tanong, kakayanin ba? Okay, now, one of your classmates asking what did Rizal earn a degree in Ateneo. Yan, yung natapos niyang kurso sa Ateneo, uh, it's a vocational course. Uh, of course, yung term na ginamit, it's a uh, Spanish perito agrimensor. Ibig sabihin ng perito agrimensor, hindi yung pride, no, perito. Hindi, perito agrimensor, it's referring to expert surveyor. Uh, at a very young age, at age of 19, it passed already, no? Uh, kung baga, kung mayroong licensure yon, parang certi- uh, napass na yung certification or N- parang NC2 sa inyo, di ba? Napass na niya. Kaya lang hindi na-grant yung kanyang certificate dahil because underage pa siya, di ba? Minor pa siya. So, nung 21 years old, dun pa lang ibinigay. So, while he was active pa rin siya, no? And actually, kung titignan mo, parang hindi ma-let go ni Rizal yung Ateneo. Siguro kung may college na yung Ateneo noon, baka doon na lang siya nag-college. Kaya lang wala pa, no, that time. 1879, uh, nung nag-aaral sa, sa UST, you no, know, there is a uh, literary competition na in-sponsor yan ni, ng Liceo Artistico Literario or the Lyceum of Artistic Literature. And yung kanilang team, no, binigay, Old Timid Flower. That's the original team na Ultimate Flower. From that team, Ultimate Flower, si Rizal, uh, nagsulat siya. And yung title ng kanyang poem, yung Ala Oventud Filipina. Okay? Now, this poem, kung i-elaborate natin, napakaganda yan. No? 
something to do uh, very ano siya metaphorical pa rin metaphorical yung ano niya pagkakaano niya what i mean metaphorical hindi niya din directly inaano kasi gumagamit siyang mga simile no uh, met- uh, of course metaphor and personification na uh, in describing the ano and ala Ubuntu Filipina of course yung pinaka main ano niya yung dito niya sinabi na the uh, youth is the hope of the nation el Ubuntu es la esperanza del nacion or uh, the youth is the hope of the nation and then na- nanalo yan ng first prize no and of course sabi nga nung nanalo siya it is the first angel who won the competition parang manungkot lahat no walang masaya nung in award pero pinrace din ni Rizal no nung matanda uh, nasa ano na sa uh, age of 30 nagsusulat sa Sala Solidaridad one of the article he wrote yung Lianto Irisas no Lianto means uh, tears no Risas means smile tears and smile or tears and laughter Lianto Irisas in that article na sinulat niya minensyon na doon na yung mga Kastila daw somehow fair naman kasi yung experience ni Rizal sa USD parang na-discriminate siya, random na random niya, no? Actually, when he was in USD, divided yung estudyante. May dalawang grupo sila. The Indio and the Castillas, no? And then nagbabangayan sila, nag-aaway, no? Pag nagkasalubong, sigaw ng mga Castilla, Indio, Chongo. Ang sigaw na naman ng mga Indio, Castilla, Bangus, no? Mm, yun ang ano, na-bullying, no? At dito niya, binuo yung ano, companionismo or the companion of Jehu. Sabi, Okay? So, bakit ako nag-elaborate? No, sabi ko ngayon, baka mabas ng oras. Now, from Alaw Bento, Pilipina, another literary contest, sinalihan na naman ni Rizal, nanalo na naman siya, no? And in that literary contest na nanalo siya, eto again, may issue na naman. Muntik na namang hindi in sa kanya. Pero since, uh, dahil professional yung mga judges dyan, kahit na Kastila sila, ginrant pa rin sa kanya. At itong literary contest nito ginagawa sa US ginawa sa USD to commemorate the what we call the fourth centennial death anniversary of Miguel de Cervantes. Si Miguel de Cervantes kasi known Spanish writer siya sa yung popular na author ng uh, Don Quixote de la Mancha no? of course hindi na natin maalam. Now in El Consejo de los Dioses no among the writing of Rizal no of course maganda lahat ng mga sinulat niya. Lahat kakaiba talaga no ito pero dito maaamish ka no at the very young age makikita mo no gaano ka ka well read si Rizal because in the case of the de las Dioses pinagsama niya yung Greek mythology and Roman mythology so at yung basis niya sa kanyang kwento parang finish niya yung three graces or what we call yung yung kay Paris, yung kwento about Paris, The Judgment of Paris. Sa mga painting, ganun yung title, no? The Judgment of Paris. Now, wherein Hera, Athena, and Aphrodite uh, uh, went to Paris to to ask sin, no? Kung, of course, in our language, parang sabihin natin, sino yung pinakamaganda sa tatlo. So, yun ang idea, no? In El Consejo de los Dioses, pinresent ni Rizal, sino bang magaling sa tatlong writer na to? Si Miguel de Cervantes, si Homer, o si Virgil. No? And they are known writers. So as you can see, si Rizal, well read siya talaga. No, no doubt, bakit siya matalino. So, kaya nga may kasabihan, di ba? Read today and read tomorrow. No? And probably it follows. No? Pero si Rizal, of course, uh, he read a lot, no? but he never read. No? He just wrote. No? <laughs> okay? Question? Question uh, concern? Bago tayo magpatuloy. Tayo na 10 points yun. Pakitype yung mga ano ninyo ha, sa chat box. Kasi after our ano. Uh, <laughs> at, uh, gusto ko lang basahin sa chat box ninyo. No? Si Erica May sabi niya. Anong feeling na, anong feeling na si Alden Richard? sa pelikula ng Stradas. Wow. Parang gusto kong ano yun. No? Siyempre, proud si Rizal, no? Imagine, guwapo ni Alden Richard din. Uh, si Rizal, hindi naman ganun kagwapo, no? Pero, hindi naman pangit si Rizal, no? Uh, yung nga lang, hindi siya, matang- hindi siya ano, matangkad. Okay? 
So, yung mga hindi pa nakapag-type ng ano nila sa chat box, please type your ano yung points. Kasi after our our discussion, ayun tayo na si type na pala. Okay? So, you, kahit na sa chat box na yung tanong nyo, you can type pa rin na that considered arrestation. Okay? Concern, question. Any comment, reactions? Ira, wala daw. Nag-thumbs up. Thank you, Ira. Ayun, si Jessica, wala rin. Thank you, Tyron. Okay. And Rachel. Okay. And the president, ay, the mayor, Wendell. Okay. Sige, tuloy na natin kung wala kayong tanong, no? So, from UST, okay, no, uh, siguro mag nagtatanong kayo kung bakit all of the sudden, uh, hindi natuloy sa UST or hindi kumraduate sa UST si Rizal, no? Hindi siya. Yun nga, sabi ko nga, marami siyang ano na time, no? Uh, parang he felt uncomfortable. And maybe hindi natin talaga ma-perfect yung sistema, no? Personality yun. Baka meron nga talagang pari na that time na teacher niya na ano sila, discriminatory, no? Na ayaw nila sa mga Indio. Kaya nga in the novel of Rizal na El Filibusterismo, hindi ba yung chapter doon, may isang chapter na klase sa pisika, minensyon niya si Padre Camora na, na minam, minamaltrato si Placido. At yung way of teaching ni Padre Camora, parang it's physics, pero parang naglilesson siya ng religion, no? Okay? So, so yun ang dahilan bakit hindi natapos si Rizal sa ano, no? Uh, sa Ateneo, ay rather sa USD, sorry ah. Uh, bakit hindi siya natuloy? Okay. Uh, so ito pa, uh, before I proceed, no, kasi nasa nagpapa-admit si Ivan, no. I will accept Ivan, no. Pero uh, take note, uh, wala rin, wala si Ivan sa official list natin, ay uh, kung magano man siya, no. Wendell, no. Uh, I check again my portal, and then sa mga student, ano, May dalawa kayong kaklase na, of course, sa dyan, si Ivan nga, at yung Cruz Geraldine, no? Uh, they are not officially enrolled in your section, okay? Okay, going back to our discussion, no? Pero in ko pa rin si Ivan kahit na I, I know na hindi siya, no? Baka hindi updated, no? So again, kung si Rizal nag-aral sa atin ngayon dahil kay Pasyano, no? Dapat letran kung nag-aral sa sa USD dahil kay Pasyano, okay, sa kuya niya. Ngayon, mag-aaral sa sa Universidad Central de Madrid, again, it's because of its brother, Pasyano. No? Kaya nung, of course, yung travel niya, ang tagal no, 1891, nag-travel siya. And then it was on 1882, November 3, that was the time na nag-enroll siya sa Universidad Central de Madrid. No? And then later on, of course, hindi na natin elaborate yon. Nung June 21, 1884, he completed its medical course. No? Kaya lang from uh, writings, sabi nila, baka uh, may question, kung graduate nga ba si Rizal? Did he really earn, or he, he, of course, we address him as Dr. Jose Rizal. He's a doctor of, of Talmo, he's a doctor of eye, no? mata. Of, sabi nga ni Jessica, no? kung hindi sa ophthalmologist, ano siya ngayon? No? Pero yung ano nga, uh, sinasabi, uh, baka yung diploma daw niya, hindi niya nakuha. Una, hindi sa fully paid ng tuition fee niya. And then pangalawa, hindi niya na-present yung kanyang thesis. That is according to the author na si Saide, no? And to continue, okay. So, uh, coincide with its birthday. Uh, I skip tayo. Okay, sorry, sorry. Nagtumakbo, no? Coincide with its birthday. On June 19, 1885, so 24 years old siya, nagkaroon siya ng license, license no? It was licensated, no? Or... He was given, he obtained his license in Filosofia y Letra, no? Licenciado in Filosofia y Letra. Now, that license, it's equivalent or tantamount siya na wherein Rizal is qualified to teach human, or, uh, humanity subject in all uh, university in Madrid. Big time, no? Kung titignan natin, lodi talaga si Rizal, no? Kasi um, kung bakit ko nasabing Lodi, siyempre kung iano natin yan, pag ano ba, titignan natin, no? of course, hindi, hindi, ko naman, hindi naman tayo nagano ng competition. 
if you will compare it to Marcelo H. Del Pilar, kay Andres Monipasso, kay Emilio Aguinaldo, no, lahat sila nag-aaral. Kay Antonio Luna, no, sino pa ba? Uh, General Asinto, no, Asinto, okay. Uh, so probably yung credential, no, makikita natin na, oo, hindi siya nakipagdigmaan, pero as regard to the achievement and how, ito yung ano eh, ito yung ad- edge ni Rizal. Siya yung, siya yung representation ng mga Pilipino. Like, he represented the Filipinos, no? Uh, in different countries. Parang pinakita niya, here we are. It, ito kami mga Pilipino, ganito kami katalino, ganito kami kagaling, hindi kami alipin. Uh, that time, ha, kumbaga, ito yung ano, kung, because Rizal, somehow, kahit na Chinese yung blood niya, hindi niya kilim na Chinese siya. Because when, during its execution, no, meron siyang isa-sign na papel na kalagay doon, Jose Protasio Rizal, Mer- uh, Jose Protasio Mercado Rizal, I uh, Alonso Iria Londa, Chinese national, parang ganun. Kinross niya yung Chinese and he changed that into Indio. May document ah, na, na preserve. Kasi yung mga Spaniard that time, marunong na silang mag-archives. No? They can preserve the documents. Imagine, no? Kaya, yung, kaya siguro si Claro M. Recto, no? maliban sa uh, pareho siyang graduate ng Ateneo, uh, <clears throat> nakita niya na parang work naman na pag-aralan si Rizal to inspire the youth. Di ba yun lang ang ano natin ng, 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 ng ano, Rizal, no? Because Rizal life somehow serve as an inspiration to the youth and can be what we call uh, an opening or something na uh, to develop yung nationalism of what we call as Filipino, no? Pero in, nung time ni Rizal, hindi naman niya na ano na, na ano na, ganun, no? Meron pa nga isang ano, incident, uh, okay, late, madi-discuss natin yun, okay? Now, from Universidad Central de Madrid, of course, marami nangyari yan, nangyari dyan, no? Hindi, kaya lang hindi na natin ma-elaborate, sabi ko nga sa inyo. Let's proceed to the different writings of Rizal, no? Uh, Ito, part ng ano ito, worksheet, di ba? Yung word hunts ninyo. So, nung nag-travel siya, no, going to Spain, nakarating siya ng Barcelona. So, of course, bago siya nakarating ng Madrid, na nag-stay muna siya sa Barcelona. When he was in Barcelona, mayroon siyang sinulat, no, article. It's about love of country, and that's the Amor Patrio. No, he wrote that on August 20, 1882. And this article, no, na publish yan together with its other article, Los Biajes, in Jaryong Tagalog. And Jaryong Tagalog that time, parang expression ng mga Pilipino yan, no, na ipa, ipahayag kung ano yung nararamdaman nila. Now, bakit Castilla, no, everything results wrote our majority uh, are Spanish. Parang 90-10, no, 90% Spanish, 10% lang yung sinunat niyang Pilipino, no. Now, the more patrio nung na-publish sa Jaryong Tagalog, pag-aari yan ni ano ni uh, Basilio Moran and bas- and that time no uh, na-stop din yung Jaryong Tagalog. And the self pen name na ginamit sa more patrio yung laong laan no. Kasi gumagamit sila ng mga pen name no, hindi naman yung pangalan nila talaga no. Now, from a more patrio So nung nasa Madrid na siya, he joined an organization, Circulo Hispano Filipino, or Society of the Filipino Spaniard, no? Uh, parang in on the spot siya, no? Na hindi siya prepared. Pero yung mga ano yun, organization, may bulong-bulungan na, na magaling siya magsulat, no? Uh, maganda yung mga simsulat niya. So in on the spot siya na on the night of December 31, to deliver a certain speech. At diniliver niya yung speech, yung me, pid, and versus or ang ibig sabihin niyan, they asked me for verses. Kaya ganun yung title niya kasi nga, uh, wala na siyang maisip. Kasi tinat, uh, ini, parang iniinyan lang na magsulat. Parang ganun, they asked me for verses. Okay? Now, from Amor Patrio, uh, nung natapos siya sa, ng medicine sa Madrid, uh, nag-travel siya, no? Nung natapos siya ng, ano, uh, nag-travel siya. Actually, yung travel niya in the leisure, no? Or, yes, it's not something to do with leisure or what we call recreation. Nag-travel siya sa Germany, and one of the places that he visited in Germany 
ay yung uni- uh, Heidelberg University. Kasi nag, ano, siya, nag-intern siya uh, sa medicine na ophthalmology kay Dr. Otto Becker. No? And then he attended, uh, in the uh, Heidelberg University, he attended uh, a seminar in psychology. No? And in other, ano. Now, nung nandun siya, may nakita sa bulaklak bigla niyang na-miss yung Pilipinas. Kaya, sinulat niya yung Alas Flores ni Edelberg to the flowers of Edelberg, no? Uh, probably, double meaning niya, no? Kasi yung flower daw dyan, representing to the women of, depende how you will interpret, no? Women in the in the place. Pero hindi naman, bulaklak talaga yan, no? And then, of course, yung Noli Metangere, we will uh, discuss that in chapter, ano, no? I'd rather in module 4, LPD, module 5, Successos, next, ano natin yan, module 3. Los Agricultores, no, uh, nung sinulat na yan, of course, 1889, uh, that was the time na uh, Graciano Lopez ay na founded the patriotic newspaper, yung tinatawag na La Solidaridad. Don't be confused. La Solidaridad is an organization, at the same time, is a newspaper. Yung La Solidaridad as an organization na naging first president nila doon, si Galicano Apasible, uh, of course, may issue rin nangyari na nag, nag, nag-compete si Rizal at Marcelo Del Pilar. Of course, I cannot elaborate that. Okay. Uh, yun, no, yung unang sinulat ng article doon, yung Los Agricultores, ginamit ng pen name, di masalang. No? And from Los Agricultores, of course, in the same year, 1889, let, yung letter to the young women of Malolos. Part of our discussion uh, sa LPD yan, no? And then yung kundiman, okay? So probably ito siguro yung, ito lang yung parang, hindi naman ito lang, no? Isa sa mga Tagalog na sinulat ni Rizal yung what we call yung kundiman, no? And of course, parang lab, ano siya, no? Uh, kundiman, it's something to do with uh, uh, ano, in, in Filipino or Tagalog. Pero hindi rin, hindi rin ganun yung ano niya, no? Ano siya, parang meron i-hide something about the kundiman. Okay? From the Kundiman, yung Pilipinas tinatulad sa Yanyos, of course, if we have ample of time, we will come up with this one. Then, yung La Indolensia, didiscuss din natin. And, isa sa mga kaklase ninyo, bakit hindi natapos ni Rizal yung Makamisa? Okay. That's a very good question then, no? Uh, nagtataka ako, bakit alam niya yun, no? Somehow. So, Makamisa, it's considered sana as the third novel of Rizal, no? Nung natapos nang sinulat yung El Filibusterismo, he wrote to its best friend, no? talagang best friend, BFF, no? si ano, Ferdinand Blumentritt. Sabi niya, uh, parang gusto niyang magsulat naman into Filipino. Siguro parang uh, random niya na Filipino siya. So dapat hindi kastila yung isulat ko. Ngayon, bakit, uh, yung other question naman ng kaklas niyo, bakit sinulat niya sa Spanish? Kasi nga, we are under the Spanish, ano, di ba? And the message that he wanted to ano uh, it's from the Spaniard from the Spanish authorities no uh, yun ang gusto niyang mensahe and at the same time globally that time no uh, sa buong mundo that time talagang they can speak spanish kung ngayon is english yung international language in that time of course one of the language that everybody knows is spanish going back to makamisa bakit hindi niya natapos Nasaan ba si Rizal? No? Bakit hindi niya natapos yung makamisa? At samantalang nakadate yan noong 1892. Actually, ganito yung kwento. No? Makamisa was only discovered. No? Uh, ah, okay, I, I am not very exact about date. And the one who discovered about makamisa, yung laging minimension sa inyo, si Ambeto Campo, na professor ngayon sa Ateneo, nagtuturo din siya ng Rizal. Siya yung nakadiscover. So, nung nag... Nung that time, nag, parang nagko-conduct siya ng research, no? And then, he browsed its second novel, no? uh, yung El Fili, and then nakaipit doon. Yun ang kwento, no? Nakaipit. And they thought that Makamisa, it's part of its novel, El Fili Busterismo. But then, Ambeto Campo discovered that this one, it's different, no? Kasi Tagalog siya, and then iba yung mga character. Okay? Ngayon, bakit, niya, bakit hindi niya natapos? Yun ang big question, no? Sige, tatanungin natin si Ambeto Campo bakit hindi natapos ni Rizal yung makamisa. So, 
uh, kung 1892 yan, medyo naging busy na rin siya. No? What I mean naging busy, kasi mayroon siyang other concern at that time. Yung concern niya, yung nangyayari sa pamilya niya. Kasi, do you know that Rizal was very ap- apologetic and somehow parang he has regret that what hap- uh, yung because of its action, nag-suffer yung family niya. Nawala sila ng tirahan, nawala ng lupain, no? And na-torture si ano pa siya, no? And yung mga kapatid niya, apektado, aros babae pa naman, no? So, yun ang nangyari, no? And maybe that is one of the reason bakit hindi na yan natapos yung Makamisa, okay? So, from Makamisa, Alaw Bentod, we have already discussed that. El Consejo de los Dioses, na mention ko na rin. Kung titignan natin, kung pag-aaralan lang natin yung mga tula ni Rizal o mga sinulat niya, hindi rin tayo matatapos, no? Uh, okay, when he was in Ateneo, aside from primer, uh, yung mga ano, sinulat niya, uh, mi primera inspiration, felicitaciones, uh, un recuerdo a pueblo, so, sabi ko nga, marami siyang sinulat doon. One is the Alianza Intima, Intima Entre Religion y La Buena Educación. Ibig sabihin in English, the alliance, no? The alliance, uh, the intimate, Intima, the intimate alliance of religion and good education. Uh, excuse me lang, I charge my uh, laptop. The alliance, okay, to continue. So, yun nga, no, uh, this one, no, uh, kung titignan natin, hindi lang naman kabataan yung cons- ano ni Rizal, no, parang yung sinasabi niya. When he was in Ateneo, uh, yung ano niya, it's education, education, something like that. Kumbaga, the, the key to success is education. Palaging ganun yung ano niya, no. Or magiging malaya yung Pilipinas because of education, no. Okay, to continue. And then yung Grand Consuelo and La Mayor de Tricha. Ito naman sa Bat Columbus. Uh, a great solace in a great misfortune. Yes, Tricha, no? And then we have Okay, to continue. Ah, sorry, nababak. <clears throat> Un recuerdo, na mention na yan. Mi primera inspiration. And then, Alami, Alamu, uh, Ami Musa, it's 1890. No? So, one of its travel na nung sinulat niyan, to the muse. No? And then, in Noal Talisay, when he was exiled in the Pitan. No? In Noal Trabaho, nung umuwi siya sa Pilipinas, may parents sa Pong Batangas, Coincide naman yon na celebrating the city of, of Lipa, Batangas, and then yung friend niya, gusto niyong ma-inspire yung mga trabahador, no? So, he wrote that Inno Al Trabaho, no? And then from Inno Al Trabaho, of course, Mi Ultima Dios, that's the last poem that he wrote, no? Por la educación recibe lustre la patria, in Ateneo pa rin yan, through education, our, uh, our motherland received life. Ano niyo, Jesus, Ateneo pa rin? Ala Birhen Maria, also in Ateneo. And then, unto all pasig kanina, na-skip ko yan, no? So, nung nasa USD si Rizal, yung rector ng Ateneo, si Pad- Padre Pablo Ramon, uh, tinanong niya si Rizal kung anong gagawin nila sa, uh, on December 8, no? Uh, that time, that is the celeb- uh, December 8, 1880, uh, ano bang gagawin nila during the Peace of Immaculate Conception? So, what did Rizal do? He made a uh, sarzuela. At yung sarsuelang yun, yun ang Unto Alpasig. And then, pinerform down nila doon sa Ateneo, no? Uh, uh, wherein, there is a musical accompaniment. accompaniment. And then, later on, Unto Alpasig, naging popular din sa mga school, no? In La Salle, Vinil, uh, pinerform din. And then, from La Salle, in what we call FEU. <clears throat> and then, yung PETA, pinerform din siya, no? So, those are, these are sama Ibig sabihin kung is ilalagay ko lahat ng mga sinulat ni Rizal, hindi man magkakansya dyan. Kasi sa La Solidaridad, yung patriotic newspaper founded by, uh, yun nga, founded by uh, Graciano Lopez Aina, ang dami yung article doon. Isa doon yung Lianto Irisas, 
inconsequences, ingratitudes, uh, verdad para todos, verdades nueva, no? Ang dami, no? Uh, ano pa ba, no? Una profanasyon. All those are the article that he contributed. Meron pa yung, ano, uh, uh, what we call, uh, yung kay Padre Rodriguez, no? May por telepano, no? So, there are a lot of articles. No? Kumbaga, Rizal Exal talaga in writing. No? Good writer siya. Now, as regard to language, ilan ba yung language na alam niya? So, as a young boy, he already knew Latin and Spanish. These two languages. Of course, dahil Chinese sila, maybe they, they speak Chinese. And on the mother's side, dahil Japanese, maybe they speak Japanese. No? Kaya nga later on, pupunta siya ng Japan. No? And then, on its travel, nagpa-tutor sa French ng language kay Madam ano, uh, Sir Dole. No? And then, when he was in Germany, nagyabang pa siya no? uh, sa mayor ng Germany, sabi niya, he learned the German language only for 11 months. Imagine, no? Kumbaga, uh, gifted siya. Rizal is a gifted child, no? As regard to language. Kumbaga, meron siyang verbal intelligence, no? Or, yes, verbal abilities. From French, he can speak Italian. No? And then, ano pa ba? Okay, so far, yun lang, no? Mga nine or ten, no? Okay, concern, question? May tanong po ba? Now, uh, okay. Ito bang maraming asawa si Rizal, sabi ng kaklase niyo. Actually, uh, wala mang naging legal wife no, si Rizal. Pero yung parang sa puso niya, na gusto niyong maging wife, of course, isa dyan si Leonor Rivera. Okay? O sige, discuss na natin pala yan. So, Unang tumibok yung puso ni Rizal no, na in love. As a teenager, no, normal yun, di ba? Nung nasa Ateneo siya, namit niya si, ano, yan, si Segunda Katigbak. Segunda Katigbak is considered as the first love of Rizal. No? Kaya lang, uh, that time, puso na yung engage. So, sad to say, Segunda Katigbak was already engaged with uh, Manuel Luz. No? Kaya, kaya hindi naging ano. Uh, pero ang nag-attempt si Rizal, ah, ang paraparaan pa siya nung gusto niyong makita si Segunda Katigbak. Kasi si Segunda Katigbak, together with his sister, si Olympia, nag-aaral sila sa La, La Concordia College. So, kunwari, magdadala ng pagkain si Rizal kay, ano, kay Olympia, ang gusto nang palang makita niya si Segunda Katigbak. No? Now, from Segunda Katigbak, <clears throat> okay, to continue, when he was studying in USD, sa tapat ng boarding house nila, uh, sa boarding house niya, namit niya si, ano, yan, yung second picture, si Leonor Valenzuela. No? And then, of course, meron din sinasabing Miss L. No? I do not know how truth no, yung sinulat ni Saidi about that. And ito, very sure sila, lahat naman agree na ang gustong maging wife ni Rizal ay si Leonor Rivera. Alam niyo bang pinsan niya no? Uh, hindi lang uh, hindi ko lang ma, ma, ma ano ma trace kung uh, second cousin third kung anong blood no. Kung uh, o what degree pala no anong blood ano ba pinagsasabi ko no to what degree. Kaya lang yung nanay ni Nino Rivera ayaw niya kay Rizal no. Kaya yun uh, hindi sila nagkatuluyan. At siguro medyo nagtampo rin si Nino Rivera kay Rizal kasi nung Nung nag-aaral si Rizal o nasa abroad siya, wala siyang sulat kay Leonor. Hindi siya nagsulat kay Leonor Rivera. No? And actually, yun ang bilin naman ng kapatid ni Rizal, ni Pasiano, kasi para hindi alam na nandun siya. No? And now, nung panahon na parang he was uh, depressed or something uh, exhausted or what we got problematic dahil nga yung nalaman niya yung parent niya wala nawala ng lupain ng tirahan and then uh, up, uh, that is also the time that na problema sa financial ano niya na wala pang print sa kanyang second novel yung El Filibusterismo he went in Biarritz no Biarritz France and then that was the time he proposed to marry Nelly Bosted kaya lang like the parent of Jono Rivera yung nanay ni 
Nelly, ayaw niya kay Rizal. Sabi niya na si Rizal, wa, bakit mo pakakasalan niya na ang alam lang daw niyan magsulat. And that time, no, yung pagsusulat, hindi, hindi sa ano, uh, kahit naman ngayon, kung hindi kasi swerte yan, di ba, kahit na marami ka na isulat, uh, of course, kung naswerte yan ka naman, biglang yaman mo, like J.K. Rowling, no, no, sa Harry Potter, and then yung The Lord of the Ring, no, and then yung author din ng ano, ng uh, what we call, yung mga series na ginawa, no, Game of Thrones, no, so, sigurado yan, uh, yung maman sila. But the time, of course, si Rizal hindi. And one thing also, bakit din nagkatuloy yung si Rizal at saka si Nelly Bostead, it's there's conflict with, re- with their religion. Rizal being a Catholic and Nelly Bostead being a Protestant. And the time, according to the side there, that Rizal does not want to give up its Catholic faith. So, actually, totoo yun. Because until the death of Rizal, nung ma-execute na siya, nag-confess pa siya sa dalawang pari na naging teacher niya at saka ng rector ng Ateneo, very close siya talaga sa mga pari ng Ateneo, ng mga Jesuit. No? Kahit na pinupuna niya yung mga uh, hindi magandang gawain that time, no? until now naman, may practice pa rin ganyan, in, in never give up its Catholic faith. No? Now, from Nelly Boasted, mga namit niyang uh, girl, no? Nung babalik siya ng Europe, uh, siguro dahil may Chinese blood siya, he, he also stayed in Japan. At doon niya na-meet si Seiko Uzui, na tawag niya sa kanya ay Osei-san. No? Osei-san. Sansei, no? Sansei, it's referring to your teacher in Japanese, no? And san, it's somehow, so to show respect, di ba? Add in the name. Kaya ang tawag niya kay Seiko Uzui, Osei-san. Ngayon, one of your uh, classmates asking, anong language ba na nahihirapan si Rizal? So, even Rizal, as a Chinese blood, no? kahit na meron siya Chinese and Japanese blood, uh, in, on the, uh, kung mababasa mo sa mga simulat nila ng mga authors no, or biographer niya, one na nahihirapan magsalita si Rizal sa ng Japanese, ni Hongo. Kasi one time daw in, sa store in Japan, I do not know how factual is that. Bumibili siya ng mantika and it, it does not know how to say it. And then a Japanese boy laugh at him, no? Okay? And even nung nasa bar ko niya, no? Na namit niya si Techo, uh, uh, Techo Suwiro, no? <clears throat> okay, from Japan, of course, nag-travel siya sa London, no? Uh, yun nga, nung nag-travel siya, okay, later discuss na. Now, when he was in Germany, Ito si Susan, ay uh, iniiwasan niya yan, no, si Susan. Si Rizal medyo ano sa sa mga German women, ayaw niya kasi masyado silang liberal, no? Nagsulat pa nga sa mga kapatid niya na wag natin gaya, wag ninyong gayahin yung mga German women na sabi niya na kailangan maging finesse kayo or modest parang ganun, no? And then from Susan, ito si Gertrude Beckett. Ito parang friend friend din, no? Ginawa pa nga niya na si Getty or Toti ang tawag niya sa kanya. So that means they have special relationship, no? Ginawa pa niya ng mga ano yan, nung during Christmas, yung regalo niya, yung sculpture, no? And then from Jetrod, ito yung talagang parang wife niya. Na gusto tal- uh, actually, if, uh, they set no, to, to be married, no? Ma- na ikasal. Kaya lang, sa mga kaibigan niyang pari, sa Ateneo, they refuse, no? E, uh, I do not know kung ano yung consid- uh, basis nila, no? And then, in some documentaries, sinasabi na pinakasalan niya na sila lang dalawa, na walang pare, parang ganun. At nagkaanak siya kay Josephine Bracken, no? And this is in the pitan, no? Ang pangalan niya, Francisco. Kaya lang, uh, namatay din yung kanilang anak kasi premature siya. Okay? Now, so from the love life of Rizal, let's proceed to its travel, no? Yan. Saan ba naging, ano, uh, tama ba? <clears throat> Gala rin si Rizal, no? Kaya kung titignan natin, hindi naman siya seryosong tao na parang ang buhay niya maging bayani. Hindi, no? He just live uh, an ordinary, like the ordinary people, no? On May 1887 to June 1887, after he finished writing its novel, No Limit Angere, no? Uh, he traveled no, together with his best friend na si Maximo Viola. 
Kaya nga minsan napagkakamalan ding ano si Rizal uh, gay kasi <clears throat> very affiliated siya sa mga lalaki again no and then like this one no parang kakaiba kasama niya nagta-travel lalaki no pero parang normal lang yun no normal school that time kasi if you watch the old movie na ano ba yung Sherlock Holmes kasama niya lalaki din di, di ba kasama ni Sherlock si ano yung sino nga bang kasama niya <clears throat> na prominent sa psychology din no okay So together with Bio, uh, Maximo Viola, they traveled on the different part in Europe, no? So the first destination nila, na, na, nakarating sila ng Germany. Yung mga mention ko kanina, no? In Germany, nakarating sila ng, ng what we call Dresden, Nuremberg, Brann. Uh, so pabalik-balik sa dyan, no? Sa Germany. And then in Berlin. Now from Germany, uh, so sa Dresden, that was the time na na gusto nang puntahan si ano naman si Ferdinand at uh, this is the time na binisit ni si Ferdinand Dumentrit no So from Germany naharating sila ng Prague no dito naki uh, na, uh, for a second uh, we need to elaborate now from Prague naharating siya nang bumalik siya ng Germany and then ng Austria no in Austria bago siya naharating ng Vienna pumunta sila muna ng Limerick and that was the place where in Uh, Ferdinand Blumentritt Lee, matanda na that time, no? So, dun sa pumamit niya doon. And in Vienna, of course, ang dami yung na-observe dyan, yung paper napkin and so on, and the Danube River and so on, no? So, from Vienna, Austria, nakarating sila ng Switzerland, no? And in Switzerland, nakarating sila ng Bern. And then, Geneva. When they, uh, in Geneva, Rizal celebrated its, I think, 26th birthday or 27th birthday niya. Uh, and then, sabi nila that some things, no? But in Geneva, nung nasa Geneva sila, bumalik na ng uh, Paris si Maximo Viola and Rizal continued to travel in Italy. So in Italy, nakarating siya ng Florence, Venice, Milan, uh, Rome, and then Vatican City and so on. Okay? So yun, yun uh, yung mga tinravel niya. No? Now, uh, So from the Philippines nung from UST di ba nagtrab uh, magaano siya di ba mag-abroad siya so sabi nila yung travel niya they keep they uh, keep it secret daw pero uh, we are not sure also kung how secret that kasi ang ginamit niyang pangalan o si Mercado no parang hindi naman binago kasi yung pangalan niya o si Protasio Mercado Rizal no kasi si Jose Mercado pangalan ng pinsa niya no So from the from each travel no So hindi lang elaborated to bago siya makarating ng Spain he has a lot of stuff offer Ganun talaga yung pagbabiyahe noon kasi wala pang eroplano di ba So kailangan maraming stuff offer Its first stuff offer was in Singapore no And then of course in Singapore and observe yung ganito no So from Singapore and then nakarating siya ng what we call Sri Lanka nakita niya yung uh, sa Colon no yung capital ng Sri Lanka yung Colon no Colombo pala sorry Colon and then from Colombo uh, of course nag stopovers din sila sa part ng Africa where in narandaman niya yung pinakamainit na bansa yung Aden no and from Aden West Canal no friends West Canal bago siya makarating ng Barcelona or ng Spain uh, nag stopover din siya sa ano sa part ng France And that was in Marsilis, no? And when he was in Marsilis, very excited siya. Kasi uh, one of the favorite book of Rizal na sinulat ni uh, Alexander Dume ay yung what we call the Count of Monte Cristo. And the Count of Monte Cristo, uh, of course, um, kung papanurin yung movie, it's for you to understand, uh, favorite niya yun, uh, yung kwento ni Edmund Dantes. At nakulong si Edmund Dantes sa uh, Chateau de Lif. And yung Chateau de Lif, found in Mercedes. Kaya dun. Now, from Mercedes, nakarating sa Naples. Naples is also part of France. Uh, and, and of course, what is significant with Naples, yung uh, Mount Vesuvius. No? And Mount Vesuvius, uh, kaya sa historical, kasi yung nung sumabog or pumunta yung volcan na ito, winas out niya, no? or meron isang city na nawala, yung city of Pompeii. Nawala, nawala dahil dun. Now, while he was in Spain, nung nag-enroll siya sa ano, University of Central de Madrid, since nag-a-practice uh, siya ng medicine, he went in Paris, no? 
France and here napagkamalan siyang ano Japanese no and bakit siya pumunta dito I- first he observed the culture of the what we call the of France no and he visited the what we call the Luxembourg and then nakapunta siya sa ano sa Dover the museum and then he observed the different diseases of women in La Bourse's hospital and then Selinic hospital also no kay Dr. Nikkei now from Paris of course pumunta rin siya ng Germany dito siya nag-aral ng ano French language uh, naging ano niya tutor si Madam Sir, Sir Dolly uh, and then of course in Germany in Berlin he associated with the different scholars no and in Germany also this is the time na he started writing its novel uh no limit and there in Madrid in 1884 and then he finished that in 1887 uh pinaprint niya dito kasi mura yung printing press or printing ano dito no piece uh, Germany okay so diyan na rin namit ang different german uh, ano german uh, authors like uh, uh Dr. Virchow no uh, known in what we call in the one who discovered the cells no Okay, moving on. Now, nung umuwi siya sa Pilipinas, 1887, uh, eight months nang siya sa Kalamba. And then, of course, siya sa lahat of accomplishment, no? Nung umuwi siya, tinawag siya ng Dr. Ano, uh, Aleman, no? From the word Alemania, no? German. Matagal siya kasi sa Germany. So, from Philippines, <clears throat> nag, uh, nag-stop over muna siya ng China, no? When he was in China on sa Amoy hindi siya nag hindi siya bumaba dahil may amoy daw no. Ito 'yun no parang ganun no. And then hindi siya feeling well and then it's raining hard daw. And then nakarating siya ng Hong Kong. From Hong Kong sumakay siya sa bangka na Kyukyang uh, to visit Macau no. And the time those place Hong Kong it's under the colonial rule or under the authority of the Great Britain yung Macau, Macau naman sa mga Portuguese no. And then from Hong Kong pumunta siya ng Japan no so well travels si Rizal no uh, kasi nga ah uh, yung gusto niya siguro talaga no from what, mag-travel and then sa Japan siguro dahil nga may Japan sa ano siya kaya gusto niya makita yung Japan no so he went in Japan diyan na na-meet si Seiko Usui diyan na, na, na nalaman yung Japanese drama na kabuki and then the instrument yung koto and then yung painting na uh, practice ng mga Japanese yung sumi and ano pa ba yung natutunan niya doon no okay now from Japan nung nag uh, nung papunta siya ng US na meet niya dito si Se- uh, Seiko uh, rather si Techo Suwiro no si Techo Suwiro naman na uh, parang meron sa Japanese version ng kanyang work yung O Una Bara no that's referring to the novel no limitan si NLP no then it traveled in the United States So kung ngayon mayroong pandemic nung nagta-travel si Rizal of course hindi naman na-declared na pan- pero parang pandemic na rin that time mayroon naman ng outbreak of cholera no cholera outbreak in the far east kaya nung dumaong si Rizal sa San Francisco California na quarantine muna sila hindi muna sila pinababa sa barko no pero of course there is an other story on that no so yun so in USA nakarating siya ng San Francisco California Uh, sa uh, uh, what we call sa uh, Las Vegas, Nevada, Colorado, and then in Albany, New York. No, that's the capital of New York. No, Albany, and then Hudson. Sa nakita yung Hudson River kung na, nasaan na nakatayo yung Statue of Liberty, and then San Frans, uh, sa sa Chicago, and then na, nakarating din siya ng Niagara Falls, where in this falls it's something na Uh, it's in between Canada and US no yun no so marami din siyang pinuntahan doon nakarating din siya ng Nebraska no nakita niya yung Lincoln yan yung statue ni Lincoln no one of the presidents of United States Roosevelt Lincoln no okay so <clears throat> ito naman uh, uh, from United States going to London no so nung nagta-travel siya sa London of course may kwento din diyan no na sa barko may pinakita siyang laruan yung, yung yoyo no but he cannot elaborate and then he told that as an dad kung gusto sabihin kaya nang okay in london ba siya pumunta ng london of course in london nakarating siya ng liverpool on may 24 1888 now in that time kaya sa pumunta ng london 
all of the sudden si Rizal, from writing its no, second novel, El Pili, parang all of the sudden, gusto niyang malaman yung kwento or the history of the of our land, no, yung Pilipinas. That's why he came up to uh, to research on the work of Dr. Antonio de Morga, yung successors de las des Pilipinas. So, sinerch niya to sa London. No? From London, parang kulang yung ano niya doon, reference, pumunta ulit siya ng Spain, in Madrid and Barcelona, again, to search uh, to search about the work of Dr. Antonio de Morga. Now, uh, in 1889, sabi ko nga, favorite ni Rizal yung Paris, kaya lang, wala, hindi siya, makapag, hindi niya kaya nung way of life in the Paris, kasi expensive. In 1889, ito yung parang natapos na yung construction ng Eiffel Tower. Do you know bakit Eiffel Tower ng pangalan yan? Kasi yung mismong architect niyan, or yung, yung gumawa niyan, or yung parang the, the person behind that, I see si Alexander Gustav Eiffel. Kaya nga may mga Gustav restaurant tayo dito, di ba? Diyan na, meron ganyan. So that time, Lahat ng mayayaman, no, they gathered in Paris to witness what they call the Universal Exposition. And in that uh, Universal Exposition, Rizal organized the Filipino, yung mga friend na kasama niya, no, uh, para hindi sila magkakaiway, wala, he, he, the, he came up with a group or club na tinawag yung Kidlat Club. And then from Kidlat Club, uh, later on, ginawa niya ng Indios Bravos, no, and then from the Indus Bravos, uh, the last uh, ano niya, organ, uh, parang club na ginawa, yung Redenson de los Malayos. No? Okay? So from Paris, France, hindi siya nakapag-stay dyan. Nakitira lang siya kay no, Valentin Ventura. And then later on, together with Jose Alejandrino, na nag-aaral ng engineering that time in Paris, pumunta sila ng Brussels, Belgium. Okay? So dito, mas mura daw, no? yung ano, uh, Dito niya sinulat most of the article na minention ko na na contributed in La Solidaridad at like yung yung uh, yung Danto Irisas, Una Propanasyon, Ingratitudes, Inconsequencias, sorry, uh, and then yung Verdades Nuevas and then Verdades para Todos. No? Maraming article na sinulat niya dito. Now, from Belgium, since may problem sa Kalamba, no, wala nang lupain ng mga tao doon, nag a siya. No? So, ABC na again yung Madrid. In Madrid dito, naging uh, katulong niya si Marcelo H. Del Pilar. Marcelo Del Pilar, H. Del Pilar that time acted as his lawyer no? to appeal about the problem in Kalamba, yung land. No? And to end yung decision ni Governor General Valeriano Wheeler. Kasi yung decision ni Valeriano Wheeler pinibor niya yung mga Dominican priests no or priors and balent uh, yun nga as the governor no yun nga si Valeriano Wheeler uh, sa kwento no nung pumunta siya sa Pilipinas mahirap daw pa siya sa daga kahit nag ano siya na sa nung nasa siya then nung bumalik ng Spain naging milyonaryo because of the bribery of the Chinese no here this personality na nakikita yung mga picture yung una diyan yan si Wences Lauretana no so, anong naging connect niya kay Rizal? So, nung nasa Madrid si Rizal, uh, pamuntik ng magduelo, no? mag-away, si Retana at saka si Rizal. Kasi si Retana, writer din siya, no? uh, in, meron siyang column sa La Epoca. In La Epoca, sinulat ni Retana, kaya daw nawala ng tirahan yung pamilya ni Rizal dahil di sila nakapagbayad ng renta. Nagalit si Rizal, no? no? Muntik na lang magpatayan, parang ganun. Pero na, hindi, na, hindi na tuloy. And then later on, uh, nung namatay na si Rizal, this Wenceslao Retana, all of the sudden, na uh, parang nag-iba, no? yung heat ng hangin, naging tagahangas, naging tagahangas siya ni Rizal. So, because of that, naging interested bigla si Retana kay Rizal. No? So, dahil doon, naging ano siya, biographer ni Rizal. So, the first biographer of Rizal, we can say the first biographer, no? And, uh, regardless of its nationality. But Retana is considered as the first Spanish biographer of Rizal. And probably we can say as his first biographer, nung, nung uh, siya rin kasi nagsulat sa buhay ni Rizal. And written in Spanish, yung kanyang libro, yung Vida y Escritos del Dr. Señor Ocerzal. No? Or the life and works, or the life and writings of Dr. Ocerzal. Ngayon, bakit nandiyan si Antonio Luna? 
Okay, ito yung time na muntik din siya na mag-away dahil lasing si Antonio Luna and in love si Luna kay ano, Nelly Bosted. And alam naman ni Luna na si Rizal parang uh, yung mga babae are attracted to him, no? Kaya nagalit. Muntik din siya na mag-away, no? Then later on, hindi natuloy, no? And then si Queen Regina, siya yung reina, no? Or regent of Spain that time. Uh, dahil yung kanyang asban na king, si King Alfonso XII ay na-assassinate, no? So may nangyayari na rin, pahina na yung ano ng Kastila niya, no? Kung baga, mismo sa Spain, meron ng paxon-paxon or what call, may problem na, no? Yun. Uh, so sa kanya, dun nag appeal si Rizal, no? Si Queen Regina, siyang nag-acted ano, as the leader or what they call, in, to represent the Spain. Kasi yung anak ni King Alphonsus XIII, it's minor pa siya noon. From, from Spain, of course, bumalik na ng Belgium, no? So, in Belgium, natapos na yung work niya. Actually, in Paris pala, pinaprint na yung kanyang art, uh, naprint yung what we call yung annotation niya about Morgan Success Stories sa Pilipinas, no? And then, in Gent, Belgium, dito niya pinaprint, no? Yung kanyang second novel, El Pilibusterismo. So kung titignan ninyo, uh, yung mga cover ng work niya, siya yung nagdi-design. Yung cover ng El Fili, uh, linagay niyang ano doon, uh, yung nasa larawan na yon ay yung tatlong parang Pilipino, Gomborsas, no? So as you, nung kung titignan natin, 11 years old pa lang si Rizal that time, no? Nung, pero uh, sa introduction niyan, makikita mo rin, no? In the original El Fili, makikita mo, of course, di-discuss natin yan pala sa ano, module 5. Okay, so ito, rin, ito yung nangyari sa buhay ni Rizal from 1891 to 1896. So probably, uh, sabi nga, bakit kaya umuwi pa rin si Rizal besides he is aware that there are threat and aware din siya na baka mapatay siya, no? So on November 20, 1891, uh, after he proposed to Mary Nelly Bosted, na busted siya, na reject yung proposal niya, he told it's a uh, friend na si Jose Basa that he wanted to practice its course no yung being ophthalmology and stay in Hong Kong nakarating nga sa Hong Kong when he was in Hong Kong this is also the time na kahit na gusto niyong magtrabaho maging uh, maging ophthalmologist may inaasikaso pa rin siya <clears throat> inisip pa rin niya yung mga Pilipinong nawalan ng lupain so on March 7, 1892 Rizal went in Sandakan no a place part a uh, place na where in uh, naka ano doon naka stay or nag, nandun yung what we called uh, mga british authorities no he went to sandakan to negotiate about what we called yung borneo colonization no now it's plan no kung titignan natin no? uh, on march 21 1892 nasa hong kong siya no yung plan niya he wrote a letter kay governor Eulogio Despujol uh, telling the governor or requesting to the governor na to allow the landless Filipino to settle in Borneo kung, kung magtatagumpay yung kanyang ano, plan. No? Now, <coughs> ito nabalita ng kaibigan niya, no? <coughs> si Graciano Lopez Aina. And then he wrote a letter kay Rizal, sabi ni Graciano Lopez Aina kay Rizal, so that he wanted also to stay in, in Borneo and then plant sugar cane. So, these people also, no, kung titignan natin, they want to live a simple life at time. Kaya nang they were destined siguro, no, na maging ganito. When he was in Hong Kong, this is also the time na pinapla, uh, he, uh, what do you call this one, he planned, no, or wrote the article or yung something to do with what we call the La Liga Pilipina. Dito niya sinulat. Yung article ng La Liga Filipina and all, everything, something the policy, the kung sino yung mga magiging member, yung qualification nila, dyan na sinulat, no? However, while he was in Hong Kong, on June 21, 1892, kasi uh, probably si Governor Despool, no, uh, from the letter, uh, alam niya na uuwi si Rizal. So, without Rizal na, uh, ano, uh, or somehow na walang kaalaman ng si Rizal, no? So, si Governor General Yorogi Despuol, he filed a secret case, no, na kakasuhan si Rizal being anti-religious and anti-patriotic. Okay? 
<coughs> to continue. So wait, no, uh, okay. What I have you? Okay, let's get. Okay, uh, <coughs> which you know, gonna lang. Now, uh, June 26, 1892, Rizal together with his sister, no? Kasi nung nasa Hong Kong si Rizal, instead na umuwi na siya, kasi ayaw siyang pauwi ng mga pamilya niya kasi meron nga threat. So what they did, in, uh, dun sila nag-celebrate ng Christmas, nagpumunta lahat doon yung pamilya ni Rizal, no? Most majority nandun lahat yung si kapatid niya, except kay Pasya, no? Then they celebrated Christmas, no? Hindi pwede si Pasya na siyempre paghihinlahan, no? So, nung umuwi siya, kasabay ng kapatid niya, si Lucia, no? Daladala niya yung pillowcase niya. So, when, uh, sa pillowcase ni Lucia, hindi siya, hindi siya aware na meron ng, uh, meron parang, di ba, nauso yung tanim bala dati. Merong dinagay doon. And, yun nga, uh, Rizal was uh, arrested, no? Inuli nila. Kaya nang bago siya, inu, uh, bago siya pinahuli ni Governor Eulogin Spool, pinainvestigate mo na. So si Luis de la Torre, uh, nag-investigate sa Hong Kong, no? Tinig, uh, he wanted to know uh, to, uh, kung si Rizal ay Pilipino pa rin. No? If they investigated kung baka German citizen na para siya. Kung si Rizal ay German citizen na that time, hindi nila pwedeng ulihin. Magkakaproblem sila sa mga Germans, no? So on July 7, ay, uh, okay, ba bago pala yun, no? So nung umuwi siya, of course, July 3, nakapag, ano pa siya, nakapag pa rin siya ng meeting sa mga patriot niya kay, sa bahay ni Doroteo Ong Kungko, yung member ng mga Laliga Pilipina, no? And then, nung July 5, nakapag-travel pa siya sa Pampanga, Tarlac, Bulacan, no? Binisan yung mga kaibigan niya na nandun na, no? And then, on July 6, 1892, yung nga, yung Pobres Priles, si Rizal was arrested, no? And kinulong siya sa Port Santiago, ang nagdakip sa kanya, yung pamangkin ni Governor Despuol, yung Logio, si Ramon Despuol. And then, yung sanction niya, it's incommunicado. Ibig sabihin, walang pwedeng makipag-usap sa kanya. So, may parang order na anyone who approaches Rizal, either they will arrest or they will kill, no? And nung June 7, sa isang gazet or parang newspaper din to, sa Gazeta de Manila, pinablis out Rizal was arrested. No? Yung nga, yung kwento, uh, ginamit na ng ebidensya yung Pobres Priles. No? Yung Pobres Priles, sinulat niya ni Ramon, ay, Ramon Asinto, si Father Asinto, no? si Father uh, Asinto Zamora, na minamak niya yung mga religious priors no isa sa tirical leaflet no kaya yun parang to accuse Rizal as anti religion yun ang ginamit niya ng ebidensya <clears throat> okay continue so from Port Santiago uh, one of the punishment of Rizal he will be exiled in the pitan no in exile sa yun ang decision ni Eulogio no so on July 14, 1892, uh, Kapitan Del Gras siyang nag-atid kay Rizal sa Dapitan. No? And uh, ang nagtumanggap kay Rizal sa Dapitan ay si Kapitan Ricardo Carnicero. No? Pero ang problem na Rizal that time, saan siya titira? No? Okay. Now, it's generous friend in Ateneo, si Father Pablo Ramon, told Rizal na pwede siyang magstay sa convent or what sorry sorry sa Paris sa simbahan no sa Dapitan kasi sa Dapitan may simbahan doon ang nag ang Paris priest nila ay si Father Obak no <clears throat> kaya lang they have condition mo kela mag confession parang magretract siya parang ganun no uh, have, pero result of course did not agree about that so what did Rizal do instead of staying kay Father Obak nagstay na lang siya kay Kapitan Ricardo Carnicero no but, you know, a result is also swerte, no? Or lucky siya. Kasi nung nasa dapitan siya, bigla-bigla, nanalo siya sa loto. Together with Kapitan Carnicero and Francisco Espillor, no? 
Ah, uh, yan ang bisyo ni Rizal, no? Isa sa mga parang bisyo niya. Hindi siya umiinom, ha? He never drunk. Kasi one, nina, ayaw niya yung... Uh, umiinom siya once in a while, pero hindi siya drunk card, katulad ng mga ibang Pilipino, no? Uh, na nag-aaral sa Madrid. Yun nga, no? Minsan, sinabihan niya, bakit ganun sila, no? Nang bababae, umiinom. Si Rizal, hindi, no? Clean living, parang ganun. So, when he was in the pitan, nagkaroon siya ng share ng 6,200 peso. That is a huge money. So he was able to buy a small lot, no, and then built his kubo in the pitan, no, and the two amount, the two thousand he gave to his parent para mapag-start sila ulit, no. And then while he was in the pitan, these are some of the things that happened, no. Okay, marami na niya niya after sa the pitan, no, nag-picture sa don, nag-discover siya ng mga ano, nag-iapugay niya resali, and so na pinangalan sa kanya. And something also, nung November 3, 1892, mayroong nagpakilala na pinsan daw niya, si Pablo Mercado, pero spy pala siya, no? Uh, and then later on, uh, inuli din to, kasi si Pablo Mercado nagtatangkang nakawin yung mga mga sulat ni Rizal and parang pinakukuha yan ng mga nagutos sa kanya. And then later on, this Pablo Mercado na, 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 nalaman na yung tunay niyang pangalan ay nimensyon namanan, no? And from Pablo Mercado, Uh, August 28, 1893, yun naman nung namatay na si Leonor Rivera and then namit ni si Joseph in break -in. And nung December 17, 1895, uh, si Rizal wrote to the governor na palitan na si Rogi Daspool ni Ramon Blanco that Rizal offered himself as a medical doctor in Cuba. At yan, sinabihan siya ng mga kaibigan niya, no? si Dr. Antonio Maria Regidor and si Lopez were in, the, were in London. No? <clears throat> Then, when he was also in the pitan, si Bonifacio, pinadala niya, no? May pinadala, si, pinadala niya yung kanyang emissary, si Dr. Pio Valenzuela, na may, ay, sorry, na may kasama sa bulag, no? Siyempre, para, ano, uh, what do you call this one? Uh, para, uh, what do you call, uh, para hindi mapuna, no? Or di mapansin, bakit pumunta siya ng dapitan? So, si... Dr. Pio Valenzuela went in the pitan to seek the advice of Rizal as regard to the plan of Andres Bonifacio na pag-aaklas or rebellion, no? And of course, Rizal advised, huwag ituloy. Kasi tinanong niya si uh, Dr. Pio Valenzuela, are they ready? Do they, kasama, uh, ano ba, may mayaman bang susuporta sa kanila? Do they have what we call uh, weapons, no, enough weapons, are the Filipino are united, no, ang daming pang kulang, no, kumbaga, hindi planado or hindi pa inug talaga na magrevolusyon, no, kasi hindi prepared pa, no, si Andres Monipasio. Now, so that time, result thought na magiging medical doctor siya, no, so from the, uh, after four years, no, uh, exile in the pitan, naging preman na siya, no? And he thought, makakarating sa ulit ng uh, Madrid or Europe and then magiging volunteer doctor sa sa Cuba. So what happened, no? Yun nga, ito yung nangyari. Sumakay siya ng barko sa utos ni, uh, ni General Blanco. Kaya lang, on August 9, 1896, uh, na-discover yung plano ni Andres Bonifacio, ni Prey Mariano Hill, Agustin ng Cura of Tondo, no? He discovered the flat. At nalaman niya yan dahil sa isang katipunero na nagkwento sa kapatid ng babae. And then yung kapatid ng babae nito, nagtatrabaho sa isang madre na kapatid ni Father Mariano. No? Okay, and then of course, uh, dahil sa ginawa ni Andres Bonifacio, nagalit ngayon si Ramon Blanco. So supposedly, parang ito yung parang ano, ah, observation. Uh, una, Blanco agreed that Rizal will work as a medical doctor. Kaya lang dahil sa ginawa ni Andres Monifacio, nagalit siya. Kasi parang pinagtawanan si ano, Ramon Blanco ng kapwa niya Kastila. No? So sa galit ni Ramon Blanco, he declared or proclaimed a state of war on the following cities and provinces. Sa Manila, Bulacan, Cavite, Batangas, Laguna, Pampango, Nebe Center, Lap. So these are the eight race no, ng sun na, that can be found in our flag. No? On September 2, nagsimulat si Rizal sa nanay niya, no? parang nagpapaalam siya na pumunta siya ng Barcelona. And then September 7, sumakay siya sa Isla de Panay. Isla de Panay, barko yan. No? Now, dito may attempt na i-rescue si Rizal upon reaching Singapore. Kasi stopover palagi yung Singapore. No? 
So through the person of Don Pedro Proas and Don Miguel Camus, no? <clears throat> Camus, no? And then, si General Blanco that time, meron ng plano, naulihin si Rizal, no? So nakipag, ano siya, nakipag negotiate na siya sa Minister of War. Wherein, that time, si Governor Blanco mismo, mismo parang inilahad niya, no? He declared that Rizal is a dangerous Filipino. Continue. On September 28, uh, a passenger told that Rizal he will be arrested. So yung nga, kinulong siya sa barko, no? Cabin arrest, no? Ni Captain Alemany. Okay, to continue. So on October 3, 1896, nakarating na siya ng Barcelona. And nung bumababa sila, nakita niya si governor, uh, na dating governor, si General Yologio de Spujol. So October 8, ito yung nalaman niya sa newspaper, no? Uh, na siya daw yung dahilan. In the newspaper, Rizal learned that he was blamed on the bloody revolution uh, led by Bonifacio. No? Bakit ba siya nadawit? Actually, ang nung si Bonifacio, tagahanga talaga siya ni Rizal. No? Parang ganito yung lumilita, no? very, very ano, si Bonifacio kay Rizal. Yung fascinated siya sa mga sinulat niya. No? Parang idol niya, parang ganun. No? Actually, si Andres, do you know that Andres Bonifacio, when he founded the Katipunan, yung KKK, yung katastaasan kagalang-galangan ng mga anak ng bayan, uh, ginawa niyang honorary si President Rizal without Rizal's knowledge or consent, no? Kaya yun. And nung maliban pa doon, nung nakikipagdigmaan sila, ang password nila, Rizal. So sinisigaw nila, Rizal, Rizal. So madadawit ka talaga si Rizal, no? Kumbaga, what contributed no uh, sa pagiging hero din ni, bon, ni Rizal, it's something to do also with Bonifacio. No? Kung hindi siguro dinawit ni Bonifacio si Rizal, baka nakarating siya ng Cuba. No? On October 11, 1896, kinuha yung diary niya. Pero alam niyo ba na masikap si Rizal? Kasi yung diary niya, wala silang nakuwang ebidensya na, na nagpapatunay na meron siyang plano about revolution. No? Now, on November 2, binalik yung library niya, ay library, diary niya. And then, ito may second attempt to rescue Rizal. No? Si Dr. Antonio Regidor and Sixty Lopez were in, the, in London. They asked you sport to rescue Rizal in Singapore. Ito rin, no, may, may sulat na pinatatalong siya sa barko. Malung ka na lang sa barko, parang ganun. No? Pero hindi ginawa ni Rizal. No? Parang siguro for Rizal, kaduwagan yun. No? Or baka meron siyang, baka takot naman sa tubig. No? On November 8, 6, Yung mga kasama niya sa ka, ka, ano, La Liga Filipina, majority, no, yung mga member ng La Liga Filipina are arrested. We have Diodato Aureliano, Dr. P. Valenza, Moses Sabador, and so on. Together, uh, as well, it's brother pa siya. No? On November 20, 1896, uh, of course, nung una, maayos naman yung uh, sabi nga ni, ano, no, uh, ano ba yung mga parang reaction niya nung ina, uh, it was something inaasked. Uh, it was been ano, accused, no? So, probably nung una maganda, no? Maganda yung investigation. So, yung preliminary investigation, nag-conduct dyan si Advocate Colonel Francisco Olive, no? In the pre preliminary investigation, pinresent ni uh, Colonel Francisco Olive yung mga documentaries and testimonial evidences, no? To, uh, to prove that Rizal is what we call, no? Uh, the head of the revolution or what called is the one who, or the principal ano ng revolution no and <clears throat> november 21 and also si judge advocate general don nicolas de la peña fair din yung ano niya no sabi niya he, rizal will be trial detained no or the indemnity and he will be defended by army officer kaya pinresent lahat ng mga pangalan ng army kay rizal at ang pinili ni rizal <clears throat> na maging parang lawyer niya ay si Lieutenant Luis Tabiel de Andrande. Ay, ba't nag-advance, no? Si Lieutenant uh, Luis Tabiel de Andrande. Bakit ito yung napili niya? Kasi nung umuwi si Rizal, uh, nung first homecoming niya, nung uh, naging parang malapit din siya kay Governor Emilio Terrero, binigyan siya ng bodyguard. Ang pangalan ng bodyguard niya, parang naging friend sila or close friend niya, si Jose Tabiel de Andrande. Napinsan ni Lieutenant Mr. Biel. 
Of course, later on, before, parang okay yung flow ng ano niya, ng investigation, bago sa litisin, no? Later on, biglang nagbago, no? On December 11, 1896, inaccused na si Rizal. Ito yung ano talaga, findings, no? He was accused as the principal organizer and living soul of the Filipino selection. Founder of societies, author of books and articles, periodical dedicated to fomenting and propagating ideas of rebellion. Totoo naman, no? If you will examine the work of Rizal, mayroong ano yon parang nagsasabi na ipaglaban natin yung ating bansa. Particularly in Kundiman, no? Pero wala siyang minimension na ano, parang general touch yun na ano, no? Ano ba, pinakita niya kung si Ibarra, the person of Ibarra, no? So meron, meron siyang ano talaga, no? Kung baga, uh, totoo naman yan. Kaya lang, instead na siguro dapat yung punishment ma-exile sa ulit, hindi naman siya mabibitay, parang ganun. On December 13, 1896, Dominguez forwarded the paper of Rizal Case to Manacanian uh, Palace, and that time nag meron ng ano political ano uh, maneuver no or political ano manipulation no yung mga paring galit kay Rizal uh, nag -work, they worked no na mapalitan si governor Ramon Blanco at ang papalit sa kanya na pinili nila ay si General Camillo G. De Polavea so bigla bigla in that time, bakit napalitan yung governor, si Blanco, no? Kung baga, hindi pa time para mapalitan. Pinalitan siya para madiin ma talaga si Rizal. And again, may political, ano, no, uh, or something, may personal na, ano, personal issues. Kasi nagal may galit na pari talaga kay Rizal, particularly yung mga Dominican, no, about the Kanamba, the landing Kanamba, no. On December 15, 1896, uh, eto, no, uh, parang pinasulat si Rizal ng manifesto. Kaya lang, even the manifesto, it's interpreted na hindi naman talaga totoo na pinapa-stop ni Rizal as regards si Bonifacio, as regards to the bloody war or the shedding of blood, no? And in the manifesto, parang sinasabi ni Rizal doon, uh, stop the shedding of blood, no? Uh, and we can only achieve our freedom through education and industry. Okay? To continue, on December 28, 1896, uh, Paula Villa approved the decision of court martial and ordered result to be shot at 7 o'clock a.m. in the morning of December 30, a Wednesday at Wagong Bayon Field. No? On December 29, 1896, bago siya mapatayin, si Captain Doming uh, Rafael Dominguez no, re uh, read the death sentence. No? Yun, dun niya binasa no? ano yung ano yan, uh, identifying Rizal as a Indio, not a Chinese. No? And before that, no, there are a lot of visitors came to Kim. Mga kapatid niya, yung mga pare na sinabi ko na nag-compress si Rizal, si Father Miguel Serata, uh, Cedera Mata, Father Luis Visa, naging teacher niya. And then on December 30, nag, 6.30 a.m., nag that March, uh, going to Bagong Bayan. No? So kung nakulong sa support Santiago, going to Lina Luneta, malayo-layo din yun, no? yung lalakaran niya. And then before he will be shot, no, nag-request pa si Rizal, no, na papatayin siya na or babarin siya na nakaharap siya, pero hindi pinayagan, no. And then kinuha yung pulso, no. Bakit kaya pinunsuan pa siya? Because they want to assure na mamamatay siya through execution, hindi atake sa pulso, no. So on December 30, 7 a.m., 3 a.m., so nabaril si Rizal, no. Uh, Rizal died at age of 35 years old, 5 months and 11 days. Actually, uh, that time, did Rizal regret? Wala, no? Wala kang makikita, no? Until to its last day, na, until na, nalaman na na magbibigitay siya, wala siyang regret, no? Parang, eh, kaya nga, later on, ito yung last word niya, no? And I think, masaya na rin siya kasi 35 years old, kasi nung nandun siya sa, ano, uh, Europe, no? Sinuntan niya si Marcelo H. Del Pilar, so, telling him na mamamatay siya at age of 31. Pero sabi niya, wala naman akong sakit, maayos naman ako. Pero sa panaginip ko, mamamatay ako, sabi niya. No? Parang sabi nga, there is a presentiment about its death. No? So, kaya ito yung last word niya, no? nung barilin siya. Of course, uh, we do not know if this is fact, no? baka ito seems na ito. lolo ko yung ano, nag-hang. Okay? Ayan, yun yung last word niya.
Actually, para guidance. Consumatum S. Ibig sabihin, it is finished. No? So, in-accept niya talaga. It is done. No? And do you know, in the, no, in the poem niya, last poem niya, mababasa mo doon na sasabi sa poem niya na nakasulat doon na he is nobody. Baka uh, ilibing siya, no? Uh, nakalibing siya doon na wala mang makaalam kung saan siya dinibing, no? And then, tutubo yung mga damo, parang wala na. They, they will not remember him, parang ganun. And then, baligtad yung nangyari, no? Yun nga, naging ano pa natin siya, no? As our inspiration. Okay? So, probably, uh, that's the end of our discussion, no? For, for, for what we call module 2. Okay? Any concern or question? Concern, question, tanong? I will end my you know, uh, sharing. Do you have any question, concern? Yes, Wendell, wala. Thank you for the thumbs up. <clears throat> May tanong? Okay, uh, time check, it's 10.24, no? Uh, let me remind you, no, uh, uh, this afternoon by 1, I think 1.30 yung schedule, uh, you will have quiz, no, uh, about my discussion. And uh, update ko yung ano, uh, para makita nyo na yung post. Kasi in, uh, I think ma-activate pa lang yun by 11, no? Okay, I will stop the recording muna, no? And then, <clears throat> yes, Arian Sapanta, do you have question? Arian?